I'm, I'm from Chicago, darling. We try to be as transparent as possible. I apologize. It's understandable. Yeah, yeah, you don't know, like the city, baby? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> It's history. Understandable. But, yeah, it was just, uh, you know. You know I mean. Hey, Chicago people, if you from Chicago, it's up for you. <laughs> you just said the topic. <laughs> If you from Chicago, is up. Hey, what's up, YouTube? Um, it's your boy Kites. I'm here with my wife this time on my video. This is kind of new for me because I don't really do reactions. I'm more of like, uh, I kind of watch stuff and talk about it, or I just play video games. Um, I'm here with my lovely wife. It's just Alex. Don't forget to like her socials and all that stuff. I'm gonna put it below. But um. I'm basically showing my wife this new trend that's kind of going on. Um, a lot of people watch the 1 versus 20 series. It kind of got popular with A&P and with Sidemen. And there's some other guys like King Sid who do these type of things where essentially they take a whole bunch of people and they put them in a room and sometimes they swipe each other. Mm -hmm. And then some of them are like, they'll take one person like a celebrity and they'll put them in like the center of the room and they'll have people come out potential love interest for the celebrity come out and try to mm, see if they're compatible so um i got my wife to come out here and do this with us we're gonna tune into it do you have anything you want to say before we start off no i'm just curious on what i'm gonna see i don't i don't watch this kind of content so i don't i don't know what's going on okay no that's valid all right y'all we're gonna start it off Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's your host Arlette. As you see here today, we have a lineup of some beautiful single ladies. Hello everyone, make some noise ladies. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so just to give you guys a little bit of information on how it's gonna go down today, you all have balloons in your hands. We're gonna bring out some single men. When they come out, if you're feeling him, if you like how he's looking, you like the chocolate skin, the height, whatever it is, don't pop your balloon. But if there's anything you're not feeling, go ahead and pop it. Then I'm gonna go over to a few of you, get a little more information, see what's going on, why you popped, and all that good stuff. Y'all ready? Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go ahead and bring out our first single guy. Sir, welcome in. Okay. okay. How y'all doing? Oh. Oh, dang. That's a deep one. What's your name? Is this something? My name is Ja. Ja? And how old are you? I'm 31. 31. Okay. Ja, oh, what wow. do you do? I work in private security, and I also own a DJ uh, entertainment company that I do okay. music for. I also screenwrite for, and I model for. Nice. Okay. All right. Okay. And no, so you got ja, it together. Uh, what's okay. What's your type of woman? Mm -hmm. What do you look for? Honestly, it's mainly about the personality, right? Okay. That's what you can't replace. All right. And that what part. type of personality do you usually go for? I like somebody I can have a conversation with. Okay. No, nah, that's fine. So, like a different nah, he, range of topics. Nah, he cool. Okay. Nah, John, he got, okay. so nah, John, he got it. Oh. Right. So you're a foodie. Oh, yeah. You okay. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So the ladies have not popped, jaw. <laughs> <laughs> I see. <laughs> You are doing well. Okay, so we are going to switch the roles over to you. So, okay. ma'am, if I can have your toothpick, I'll have you hold that. It's crazy so, already. Yeah, it all is. Right. So, just based off of looks so far, I know you're a personality guy, but, mm. you know, we all like, we got to like what we're looking at. You know what I mean? Right, right, right. So, right, right. based off of looks, whose balloon are you going to pop? Just based off looks? I can't just know ask no other questions. Looks. First round, let's go based off of looks. Mm -hmm. yeah. How many? Um, let's start with one. Okay. We just gonna get this out you the just, way. I'm gonna follow you. Where oh, do you man. go? He got more so, than one. He asked how many. Oh, I mean, this is tough, right? Cause now whoever he pop gonna feel some type of way for the rest of the show. Because that means out of all the women, mm -hmm. like in his perspective, like out of all the women, because they're all different archetypes. Like, yeah. you were, like, something that I was um, not looking for. Right. You the odd one out. So, I like, when they do shows like these, like, you get you kind of get, like, secondhand embarrassment from people. You know um, what I'm saying? Yes, and then no, because, like, you're on a show. 
you're not going to be everybody's cup of tea. So for you to expect that you are going to be somebody's cup of tea and you can't like handle the the rejection of it mm. and like move on from it, that's a... Uh, it's like a personal issue. That's a personal issue. Yeah. No, that's a fact. Because he's not fact. doing it to be malicious. Or malicious. It's if this is his preference, you don't meet his preference just based off looks. Just nah. based off looks. That that has nothing to do with personality or any of the things that he's looking for right now. No, nah, that's a fact. That's a fact. <laughs> All Dang. right. Okay, so let's go on right okay. over here. Mm. If we can have your name and how old are you? I'm Rizoma and I'm 26. And Rizoma, Beautiful. what do you, <laughs> what do, you do? Um, I work for Ortho Arizona. It's my nine to five. I also model and I'm working on a fragrance business and a couple others as well. Okay. Nice. And now, Joe, why did you end up popping her balloon? She the shortest. Oh. No, that's totally okay. Yeah, I yeah. I mean, I'm legally a midget. I'm four foot eight. I get it. You four foot eight? <laughs> yeah. Okay, my bad. I didn't mean to do all that. Yeah. <laughs> no, you're good. Okay. I understand. Okay. No, yeah. I get it. Yeah. Okay. I like what you got on, though. Thank you. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> so just the height that was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, Thank, thank you. <laughs> and so, um, tell me your name again. Rizoma. Rizoma, why did you keep your balloon unpopped for a job? Well, Percy, I really like how he dresses. I don't like that the pants are a little see-through, but you have the idea, which I, know, I love. I know, but other than I that, I think, you did, I think you did good. So I didn't see a reason to pop you. I did have some personal questions, but you popped my balloon, so I'm cool. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait a minute. It's a pleasure meeting you. Yeah, nice to meet you. Too. All right. Can I give you this back? I mean, oh, yeah. no, you got to hold on to it. Okay. You, look at it. Right. No, yeah, no, 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 but you see how, like, when you get put on the spot like that, it's like, you got to say something now. You yeah, know? It was, but he didn't call her ugly. He didn't say nothing. He's just like, okay, well, she's short. Yeah. No, like, he, he played his move. You have a question you wanted to ask the ladies? Mm. I know earlier you said you had a question. What is, what is one fun thing about you? Like, it can be a talent or what you like to do or a little personality trait or whatever, what have you. All right, let's start right here. Name and how old you are, and then we'll go ahead and answer mm. his question. Yes, my name is Lovely. I am 41 years old. Okay. Um, nice to meet you. I'm very adventurous, so okay. I like to do like things that live on the edge, you mm -hmm. know? <laughs> Hiking, okay. parasailing, gotcha. anything okay. with water. She don't look 41. She looks oh, good for 41, okay? Oh, daredevil. All right. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and go on right over here. Hi, my name is Linda. I'm 26. Um, I'm very optimistic, and I'm a goofy goober. Ooh, ooh. Dang! <laughs> Scared the hell out of me. <laughs> um, I like to go. What, what did he do? Maybe it was on accident. And you know, I don't like balloons getting popped, so that... <laughs> yeah, it, I try to keep my composure. <laughs> I just want to know... And maybe it was on accident. Maybe it was on accident. We like, what did he even on. do? <laughs> like, I don't it, understand. It I'm just I like right now ruling out it was accident. Um, I like to go She's pretty, by the way. Well. They, they, they all are. are. They, they, they are. are. Yeah, they are. Cool. Yeah. We love nice black queens. Nice <laughs> Hi, my name is Rhea. I'm 30 years old, and I would like to say that um, I like to travel, and I'm down for anything. Um, okay. I like anime. I love comic books, so I love to read. Okay, um, she got it. So okay. I'll try anything once. <laughs> It, that's down to food, yeah. whatever type of activity, even if I've never done it before. I just like experiences. <laughs> Who's popping the balloon based off of another woman's response? <laughs> that's crazy. Like, because it's it's like maybe maybe it's because they're looking at him like closer, and they're like, okay. I got a better look. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead, because yeah, right. I have to Oh, there you go. thank you. All right. My name's Adonna. Yeah, maybe it's because I saw him get closer. Grown. Uh, my talent about myself. She said full grown. She ain't revealing that age. <laughs> oh, full grown. What does that even mean? 
you you a woman never tells her age. She said I'm full grown. What you need to know about but age. But every everybody everybody didn't already set their age in the room. She not everybody. Then why the freak are you on a dating show? Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> Is that I know myself. Yeah. Cool. All right. <laughs> we'll be back to y'all too. We'll be back. <laughs> oh damn! Hi, I'm Ashley. I'm 38, uh-huh. and I work okay. for an airline. I like to travel. Very okay. spontaneous. Um, okay. Love to experience new cultures. Yeah. Or not? Well, yeah. Yeah. Love to experience different cultures. <laughs> um, move around a lot. Love hiking. Those are the fun things about me. I guess. Cool. Cool. Everybody like to hike. We're in Arizona. What else are you going to do? Exactly. Like, we got great nightlife out here. I'm not going to lie to you. Oh, no. You got it? Yep, I think so. Look at you. There you go. My name is Miriam. I'm 23. And oh, she's young. Things. I like to... I oh, like she's... to learn new things, like Ooh. feed my feed me with no, more knowledge yeah. about religion, huh? about food, about culture, about life. Cool. Yeah, I like that answer. All right, okay. uh, she's so, adorable. Yeah. She's like she's, she's the youngest out of everybody. Babies. Whose balloon do you feel like popping? Damn. Okay. How many <laughs> balloons? Balloons. No, how many? Plural. Yeah. Let's go with two. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's get this over with. <laughs> you see why I don't like this though? Because it's like, Am I, are we walking? Um, yeah, go. Oh, okay. I'll follow you where you go. <laughs> Woo! Ooh. I love it. I ain't gonna hold you. I ain't gonna hold you. She popped it before he could pop it. Cause she didn't want to. She wanted to say, "I like. I'll take myself out of it before I let you take me out of it." That's that's a lot of pride. Yeah, like that that is pride. But okay, shoot. Hey. That's what's up. Okay. Um just turn this way though. Right. So right, all right, of right, the right, right, right. well majority of the older women pop their balloons. It's just height. I ain't gonna hold you. Okay. It's just height. Okay, that's about all it. Right. I loved your answer though. <laughs> Very interesting. So why did you end up popping Adonis balloons? I didn't really I it, it yeah, she popped it because yeah. she felt it. She felt it. But like yeah. I wasn't I wasn't really sure about her answer. Like it it was expl- I'm sorry, it was like explanatory, but it didn't really answer what I was asking, more or less. Mm-hmm. You know yeah, what I mean? I didn't give too much of an answer because I was still On I was fence. hoping someone would say something that I was thinking before I could say it. I feel it. But um Everybody hikes I in here. popped it because <laughs> Yeah, I was trying to figure out what it was, but yeah, it was definitely the distraction of the see-through pant, and then the jewelry. I mean, they the ivory, jewelry, yeah. like the earrings. They look nice. Those are okay. dress pants. No, I feel If it. I have to go, well, based off looks. Yeah, we splitting hairs in here, so. Mm. Mm. More or less. <laughs> More or less. All right. Okay, and then let's go down here. You end up popping this balloon here, and um, why did we end up popping her? Again, love her answer, and she seems interesting. Um, but if if I had to choose, I I prefer a little taller. Okay. That's all. All right. That's all it is. Right, right, right. No, <laughs> no. You still seem mad cool. Like really, I mean that. Okay. And then why did you keep your balloon unpopped for him? Um. First off, physical attraction, obviously. But um, okay. I like the way he dresses. He's very clean. Mm-hmm. Thank okay. You. I prefer like he's my type, but I don't I'm not his. Okay. It's okay. It's somebody for everybody it's out there. It's okay. Two ladies that pop their balloon on you. And I want to know. All right. So if we can have your name and how old you are. Haley, and I'm 31. Okay. And Haley, what do you do? I am a beautician, and I got my foot in a lot of things. So I'm going to just start with that because it's been 10 plus years. Okay. So yeah. I respect it. Yeah. And why'd you end up popping your balloon? So I like his aura. He seemed like a nice guy. But I, I felt myself starting to lose, lose interest quick. Mm-hmm. So, okay, no, that's fair. Yeah. That's fair. <laughs> I don't like to be bored. Oh, yeah. Like that. Okay, so people get bored of you. Is that what you're saying? Like you said, right. it happens. It'd be often. reasons they lose interest. Some people don't see what they want to see or don't get what they get. So they'd be like, "I'm gonna move on." It makes sense. Okay, okay. it makes sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> We locked in. She cool, though. Yeah. yeah. He yeah. cool, though. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's, that's fair. That's fair. No, that's and now, answer. is she your type? Yeah. Yeah. I love I love her fit. I like her I like her general. Like, she know what she want. Mm-hmm. I love that, right? Yeah. So, yeah, there would be no reason why. Okay. Nice. Thank you. 
<laughs> and let's go right on over here if we can have your name and how old you are. My name is Connie Marie. I'm 32 years old. And uh, what do you do, Connie Marie? I am a registered behavior therapist for kids who have oh, autism. Super cool. As well as I'm also a business owner. I have my own lash line. Gotcha. And I'm also a published model. Okay. Right. And why did you end up popping your balloon? Honestly, I just felt like the vibe wasn't given for me. Mm. And it's like, I mean, you definitely seem like somebody that's cool. But as far as like longevity wise, it just wasn't really like giving off what I How wanted. do you feel somebody's yeah, vibe off of yeah. a question though? Because he really didn't. He really didn't give off any vibe. Like, I feel like after the first girl got rejected, it was kind of like. The I whole got a, atmosphere shifted. Yeah. But it, it doesn't make any sense because. But the thing is, it, the, my problem was like, I, I, I feel what both of them are saying of like, I feel like, oh, he could get like, he could be boring or I don't feel his like his vibe. But the thing that don't make sense to me is they popped it when he wasn't saying anything. So it's like you're saying like his vibe doesn't feel. He, you don't feel his vibe, but you popped it when somebody else was talking. Yeah, and it's like he's asking, he's asking all the women, what are your hobbies? What do you like to do? And you guys immediately went off bat, pop, pop. He seems boring to me. I immediately lost interest. How do you lose interest off of somebody asking you, what do you like to do? What do you like to do? I guess they wanted him to come in with that energy of like, hey, I'm taking you to a five star restaurant. What are you getting right now? Like they, I guess they want that type of energy. I would have at least gave him like two questions. And then by my sec, by the second question he asked, then you could pop the balloon. But yeah. yeah. Oh, oh. Jesus, oh, that's real. That makes sense. But you are handsome, though. And you are attractive. You are beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. Of course. <laughs> All right. So we do still have four balloons left. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Four. So <laughs> oh, <laughs> did you have another question that you wanted to ask over to the ladies? Yeah, I'm going to get right into an important oh, okay. question. And it's not necessarily a deal breaker, so I don't want anybody to think that. But do you already have kids is my question. Yes, I already have children mm -hmm. and I do not want any more. Okay. Yes, I do have two kids, two boys, and I don't want any more either. Okay. Oh. <laughs> nope, I have no kids, just fur babies. That's about it. <laughs> I respect it, yeah. Seven, mm -hmm. to be exact. Oh, that's too many. Yes. That's too what many. What does this consist of? Hey, uh, yeah, let's so do So I have six multi pools and a Chihuahua slash German Shepherd mix. Yeah. Multi Are all the pools related? Wait a minute. Multi pools. I need to see what that is. Multi it's like a chihuahua. No, chihuahua. Not a chihuahua. Uh, it's what Shinobi is, kind of. Yeah. Oh, she. Oh, these are cute dogs, man. Yeah, but she got. But no, my question is, who who was on top of a chihuahua? How you get a chihuahua German Shepherd hybrid? That's animal abuse. <laughs> That's animal abuse. What is a chihuahua and a German Shepherd? That maybe the Chihuahua was on top. Ain't no way. <laughs> ain't no way. Ain't, ain't no way. <laughs> no. No. What? No. <gasps> no. <laughs> maybe the Chihuahua was on top. I don't know. Uh -uh. Maybe the Chihuahua was on top. Um, yes, two of them are the parents, so I have the mother and the Got father, you. and okay. then I have, unfortunately, the puppies that I, were, uh, okay. uh, I was unable to get oh, sold. That makes um, sense. Okay, that's fair. I kind of got used to them. I had them for a while, so I, you know, they're family now, so okay. those okay. are my babies. <laughs> Again, I respect your answer. I did that. <laughs> All right, well, let's go right down here. I do have children. Mm -hmm. I have three children okay. and they are young adults okay and i am not looking to have any more okay it is my time I'm, i hear you I'm you traveling. right I'm yes traveling. you in, hey you in your era yes. i ain't gonna hold you I'm, i feel it yeah <laughs> i have paid my debt to society okay okay i have made my contribution i hear you okay <laughs> all right okay all right. so, so based off of that kids. 
what are we going with? And you got that toothpick on your ear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I ain't forget it. <laughs> um, two more or just one more? Yeah, let's go with two more. Damn. Okay. Dang. 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 Okay. All right. I kind of so knew we have two ladies mm -hmm. left. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> I'm going to go. You see her face, though? The one in the red? Like, you saw the shot of her face? Two mm -hmm. ladies left. Mm -hmm. Like, she No, not. I'm worried about old girl back here. Oh, yeah. She, so, her, <laughs> she, she <laughs> want to say I'm something. I'm going to go ahead and ask them a question. Okay, cool, cool, and cool. And then we're going to go ahead and see what you're feeling from there. Right. Um, so, if your friends or your family were to describe you, what three words would they use? Independent. Okay. Courageous. Yeah. And amazing. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> if your family or friends were to describe you, what three words would they use? Oh my gosh. She is like a whole breath of fresh air. Okay. I dig that. <laughs> I'm playing. No, seriously, I'm not. Why <laughs> <laughs> oh, she funny? A whole breath of, breath of fresh air. Okay. Like she's so warm and welcoming. Like she fucking cooks everything. Bro, she asked you for three house. things. Like, she listen. I'm let her sell that herself. Person, and it's me naturally. Like okay. I fuck with me. Okay. <laughs> Sorry for cursing. No, nah, we supposed to. You, I want you to be real. <laughs> <laughs> And now, what about for you? How would your family or friends describe you with three words? Independent is a good one. Mm -hmm. um, charismatic. Um, entertaining. Entertaining. Right? Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So for our two ladies left, mm -hmm. based off of those answers, did you want to add on to it? Or I did do you have a question. Pop? Go Who for do you it. Think he's gonna pick? Are you better at cooking huh. or cleaning? I'm I had to mom. ask. You'd be surprised. You would be. You would be surprised. You'd be surprised. Cleaning. Okay. So both. Yeah. If you if you had to pick one, if you if you had to pick one. Um, I would say cleaning. Oh. Okay. Yeah. I'm a clean person for okay. sure. Yeah. <laughs> okay. No, those are both good qualities. I would say cooking because okay. sometimes shit does get real. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Shit does get real sometimes. Sometimes you just do not feel like putting that laundry up so it will sit on the couch for about yeah. a couple of days. <laughs> <laughs> or on the no, other I side of your you. bed. I'm no, I did No, yeah. So no. Sometimes for that sure. laundry just kick it over and go to sleep. On the other side of the bed a couple of days, I'm just saying. Yeah. So, yeah, I love to cook. Like, that's my jam. Like, no, these, that's cook, a real answer. Wine, vibe out to some music. That's, like, that's fun to me. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah. So, Ja. You ready to make your decision? Oh, she popped. Damn. What's going on? Why do we end up popping? Yeah. I pop just because I don't feel the vibe is there. Mm. Yeah. Damn, yeah. I'm vibing. Uh, uh. <laughs> what? I don't feel the vibe is there because you asked if I like to cook or clean. <laughs> That's the verdict. What's going on? Did you feel it earlier or like what happened? Throughout time when he was asking the questions, yeah. Oh, okay. He asked two questions. Yeah, no. Damn. Okay. All right. Well, oh. if we can have Miss Ashley. Come on out here. <laughs> oh, 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 hey, okay, okay. <laughs> Let me have you stand over you. here, though. Okay, my bad, my bad. Thank okay. you. <laughs> okay. So, Ashley, did you have any questions to determine if this is someone you do want to proceed with? Yes, I do. Do you want children? Yes. I'm not having no baby. I know, I know. I'm so I know. done. I know. <laughs> I know. Done, done. When I heard the answers, I was like, "Damn, I ain't got a shot but you in here." Coolest, you Yo, for sure. No, no, no. Y'all are all very I'm cool people. So trying so hard not to curse, <laughs> but you are so cool. Yeah. You are like so dope. You are very you. attractive. You are well put together. All Thank that. I but I have you. paid my debt to society, and I'm not to having society. any more children. <laughs> all right, I hear it. 
I heard oh sure. man all right well john unfortunately that. that's all the balloons that was popped. my shot at love thank you so much for coming on but you uh, are gonna go <laughs> home no we can definitely know for sure, yeah. for sure. <laughs> yeah, all right ladies fact, the night is young. that that is that is that is the show That is, he was her, he was what she wanted. They matched together perfectly. Only problem is he don't have no kids and he would like a kid. She don't want to have no more kids. Deal breaker. Uh, she did all that made it to the end was the number one you draft pick he said uh you want to play quarterback or receiver she said uh i only play quarterback pop the balloon <laughs> that's that's it that is that is the game i mean then at that point You you already paid your debt to society, so you can stay in society alone. And that's it. That's the fact. That's it. Okay. Yeah. All right then. Let's give it up for him, though, ladies. Thank you for coming on Thank out. Thank you. I appreciate you. <laughs> Thank you. you could go. <laughs> Did all that. Okay. Our next single man, please come on out. Hello, welcome in. I'll have you on that. Wow. What? What? And what's your name? Wow. Bro, I ain't even saying nothing. He he got that fit on too. It's a valid fit. He got the J's on. The jeans is clean. The shirt is whatever, but you know. I think it's the height. Is it the height? I All think right. it might be the height. He looked like he like I, if that lady's like five eight or five six. Let's assume she's in heels. So with heels, she's like five eight. So he probably about five nine five ten. So he above average height for a male. Yes. For a male. For a male. All right. Well, hey man. Hey. Tommy. Tommy, how old are you? I am forty three. Forty three. And what do you do? Damn. I am a construction worker. I work at uh, Rose Pavement. I'm a paver operator. Okay, nice, nice. Yeah. And uh, tell me, what do you look for in a woman? Um, just someone real, genuine, you know, uh, no arterial motives. Just someone that got their stuff together because I got mine. Okay. And um, that's it, pretty much it. All right, I don't so like dig in a couple you... of... Okay, the one, the one thing I'm going to say is don't come chewing gum in a microphone. That, that, that's it. That's all I got to say. Okay. No, that's valid. Popped balloons. So we'll go to a few of these ladies, see what's going on, why they ended up popping. And we'll just go ahead and start right on over here. <laughs> all right. And if I can have your name and why you ended up popping your balloon. My name is Rizoma. The reason why I popped your balloon is because I just don't like how you dress as a 40-year-old man. You're not my little brother. I don't want you to dress like my little brother. It's a little weird to me. But you look good, though. You know, I like the, you know, little Texas thing you got on your hand. Are you from Texas? or? No, I'm a tourist. Oh, good to know. Yeah, yeah I don't like tourists either. So I don't just like to follow the... <laughs> oh! I met you. I don't she like... unloaded the whole clip on that man. Why? <laughs> Why? Just, she said give a reason why, not multiple reasons. Just give the... Get. Oh, child. My thing is... I don't like Taurus. It's crazy. Like, what, the, well, Zodiacs, what is that? If you, if you follow a Zodiac, something's wrong with you. And I'm going to look in the camera and say that. Sorry. Dang. Um, so. <laughs> oh, so she was saying Taurus. Yes. The Zodiac. Oh... That's, if you let a horoscope dictate who you like and dislike in this world, you probably need, need to go talk to somebody. No, that's a fact. That's a fact. <laughs> I do have suits and stuff, you know. Okay. But whatever. I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, next. I know okay. who it was. All right, and now, it. is she your type? Like, is she someone you would have approached? I mean, yes. Okay. 
Yeah. And what makes her your type? Uh, she's smiling for one. Uh, you could tell she's real cool and you yeah. know bubbly personality, confident. Yeah. That's important. Appreciate it. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's move on right on over here. If we can have your name and why you ended up popping your balloon. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hello, my name is Lovely. And it's just because it is your swag. Uh, you wore a hat. I need to see your face and you're hiding something right now. You know what I mean? There you go. Now I can see who you are, but you were hiding something and it was the hat for me. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. All good. Imagine. Why couldn't you just ask him to move the hat? Um. Uh, it could be cold outside. Bro trying to just protect the top of his head. He got a clean. He had a crispy fade. His lineup is cold. <laughs> he got killed for it. He got all killed right, for it. All right, but you were hiding something, and it was the hat for me. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. All good. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but now that you see him, are you changing your mind? You said the no. hat. It was just the hat for you. I mean, it was just because he had he had that disguise on, mm -hmm. so I wasn't able to surface that layer but you know i mean once he removed his hat he is a handsome looking man thank yes, you he is. Okay. so don't be wearing hats when you're for sure you reveal <laughs> yourself to the ladies like, yeah. don't wear makeup. all of you for sure. okay and now um, don't wear is makeup. he your type like if he were to approach you would you go for that i mean you know black don't crack you look very young so i would think you were too young for me honestly oh, okay that's good, because you're in your 40s like me, so right. I would think you were too young for me. So when I get 50, I'll look 40. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> and now, is she your type? Yes. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, she's confident, pretty sweet. I can tell I'm a vibe person, so if you're not trying too hard, you can kind of see that. High frequencies. Yeah. Yes. Bottom line. <laughs> that could have been your a match. vibe here. Like, are we are we are we getting a balloon back? What's going on? Um, no. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. Let's go on over to our next lady here. If we can have your name and why you pop. Hi, my name is Linda, and first and foremost, you're a really handsome guy. Thank but you. I did pop my balloon just because first impression is everything yeah. and it was a fit for me so okay yeah That's okay That's and what about his fit is was it not yeah. was not it for you um it just seems like we're going to a basketball game and this is not a basketball game mm -hmm. you know so yeah i like basketball yeah. but he's it's casual like streetwear nice attire he's very handsome like i said but it was just the they they want a dude to come in here full tuxedo james bond Fresh lineup. Why? So they can reject him too? The ideal kid in the box came out and he walked out and y'all rejected him because y'all wasn't feeling the vibes. Off of two questions. That is true. What? So if you have the look, but your questions don't present a vibe, no go. If you have the look, but you don't look like you own a 401k and freaking six condos. That's a no-go. Impression for me, yeah. Okay, okay. And now, is this what you would typically wear on a date? Because it's, it's, it's kind of a date, you know? You're meeting no. them for the first time. Yeah, and I'm going to be honest. I just, I, I don't care what people think. And I, I'll okay, wear what good. I want to wear. Right. I have really nice clothes. I can go for any occasion from tuxedo to this. And you will see that if you look at my Instagram, but I like nice things. So if I like some nice sneakers that day, I'll wear them, you know. Yeah. As you should. Like some nice dress shoes, I'll wear them. Mm -hmm. I respect it. I just would have hoped you would have wore it today. Right. Yeah. I get you. Are you in a dress today? You're in jeans and a, and a top. You're very beautiful. Thank you. I love your eyes. Thank you. I like your hair and I love your jeans. They oh, really fly. Um, <laughs> Yeah, you're sweet, and that's all I'm looking for is personality, yeah. mm -hmm. somebody I can talk to, you know, okay. have a good conversation with, and then you seem like you're right on point with that. Yeah, yeah. appreciate you. Thank you. <laughs> all right, let's go to our next lady here. Hi. Uh, so I popped my balloon just because of his height, not particularly See? because of anything else. Um, so I'm pretty tall. Uh, I have heels on right now. Um, unfortunately, you know, my family kind of makes fun of me because I like shorties. But I just do. You're, you're tall with heels, and he's still an inch taller than you. An inch may not be enough. She's tall with heels. 
Mm-hmm. And he's still an inch taller than her. So if she's if she's wearing if she's five nine mm-hmm. and she has two inch heels on, meaning she's six feet, mm-hmm. he's six one. Oh. He not tall enough. Six feet is taller than majority of the population. Majority. She want they want he's taller than the last dude. Yeah, he is. Just yeah, just by a little bit. Maybe like two inches. So he not tall enough, but last dude was tall enough, but he's taller than last dude. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's like if you really, and that's why I don't like this, because if you really wasn't feeling him, what was the genuine thing? Them saying, oh, it's his clothes, that's valid. He's not tall enough, and you know, my family bullies me because I date shorties. But then you was just about to let the five nine dude. His looks made up for it. But she's but she did say it had it has nothing to do with his looks. looks. It's just his height. But I Mm, she's probably not being honest about it, but yeah. That's, so if that's her preference, that's her preference. And my thing is, that's a fact. But if your preference is that you want a tall dude, don't extend the goalpost of tall dudes when you was just about to let a short dude get through. Yeah, I guess. You know, it's it's kind of abnormal for uh, he's taller than her. To like short men, but I just do. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's really just his height, but other than that, just like listening to him, even his swag, like I like it. Um, cause I'm a sneakerhead, so uh, you gonna go shopping with me. We gonna be uh, right uh, up in the shoe stores buying all, all the drip. I love shoes. Um, it's just you. You know the sad part. He could be the ideal person for her, but because our brain has these preferences that even if we set it out open and we actually put it on paper, they don't make sense. He can find somebody because of how he's carrying himself right now. There's probably comments in there talking of of other women looking at this and they're like, nah, there was nothing wrong with him. And he going to find somebody because there's more women in the world than men, right? It's a lot of single women in the world than single men. Exactly. She, there's going to be men that look at her and look like, dang, even a six foot one dude can't make it. I'm not an NBA player. I'm a pass. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, but I mean, to each his own. He's all, I have heels on right now and he is almost lining with me. So he's a little bit too tall for me. Okay. Hey, what? What? Okay, girl, now you just contradicted yourself. That's not why you, you popped them. You popped them because everybody else popped them. Because that, you just, you told on yourself. Am I bugging? No, she told on herself. It wasn't it wasn't wrong. It was nothing wrong with that man. She told on herself. She just said word for word, bar for bar. My family bullies me because I always bring shorties. Then she says, man... I'm wearing heels and me and him are almost same height. You're a little too tall for me. You you can't win. She don't even know what she wants. That's fine. Next. So he's too Oh, he's too, too tall too. for you. So you actually prefer a shorter man. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I want we you to look up at me. It. You need to We were just talking. Yeah, I don't want I don't like uh uh-uh. uh. Okay, okay. okay, I thought you were saying yeah, I thought it was the since you've been dating so many short men, you wanted somebody taller, but it's the op- oh, it's the opposite. It's literally just because Okay, so that makes sense. Why she put it on with heels on? So So we can't win if, if we too I'm tall and we can't win if we too short. Him. He's not looking up at me. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. She going to be a mommy type of energy. <laughs> okay, and is she your type? I would say because of the opposite that yeah. you know what I mean I do like shorter women I don't discriminate trust yeah. me but like mm-hmm. I, I find myself being attracted to women that are shorter than me I can understand yeah. Okay. Yeah. but he is dope though I do actually like his swag yeah. contrary to everybody else I like it <laughs> thank you, thank you. alright thank you <laughs> okay let's go to our next lady here Hi, my name's Adana and I popped my balloon because 
I just feel like maybe you're the type of guy that I would see in passing and just say hello and that's it and keep it moving. But you do have a cool, you know, energy. So about you judge you. them, but you don't. Not that um, you hear in, him. In addition, equal. you said you like shorter women. I'm I'm on the taller spectrum. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Yeah. And how are you feeling her? You're not really my type. That's um, right. uh, you are pretty, you carry yourself, you know. I look at beauty in so many different ways. You carry yourself very well. I like your outfit. Uh, it's just not something like if I saw her, we were going out, I would be like, can you change? You know what I mean? I, and it's not that it's bad, it's just that I'm not into that type of, you know. Different caliber. Different, yeah. yeah. You know, I like artsy women, women that like art and different type okay. of things like that. Yeah. Okay, that's valid. Expense. You can be artsy, artsy and expensive at the same time. Oh, I Trust say, me. I didn't say expensive. Oh, I thought you said, I'm sorry. I thought you said you expensive. You told on yourself. <laughs> yeah. You told on yourself. No, I thought that's what you said. Don't sorry. <laughs> Don't be sorry. <laughs> all right. Thank you. Expensive is good, though. Oh, all right. Okay. Let's go to our next lady here. Haley is my name. And it was the age and it was that big ass bull ring that you got on your finger. Okay. I don't like that. That's cool. That's valid. That's valid. <laughs> but other than that, it's cool. Okay. okay. And so you said, what, what was that ring for again? So I'm a Taurus, and this was actually given to me by somebody very special in my life. So that's why I wear it. Mm. So, yeah. You wear a family it? member. You wear it with every outfit? No. Oh, okay. Uh, mm. So no. you can come off. Yeah. That's. Mm. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> She's not budget. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, and now is Haley your type? Uh, no, no. I have a, and it's not anything negative about it. You just look like my sister, oh. so that would be kind of like weird to me. Awkward, you know, date awkward. You know what I mean? So nah, nope. Okay. Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay, let's go on over here. My name is Connie, and. For me, honestly, I definitely respect the Taurus because, you know, I'm a Taurus as well, you know. Okay. But um, honestly, it was definitely the hype for me, baby. I mean, you are attractive, don't get Thank me wrong. You. But it was just definitely the hype for me. And as well as the attire. Okay. Um, your shoes is fly, though. Thank I you. I do give you that. Your shoes is fly. The shirt just came off a little immature to me. But other than that, though, you, I definitely could tell you got some swag to you, but it was just really the hype for me, though. Thank you for that. You're honest. Nice. Keep taller than her. Okay, and now is she your type? Yeah, you're very pretty. I like. I like. Mm -hmm. I wish that it was more like you didn't. You don't have to do all of that because you're just like pretty. Not to say that it's not bad. I'm just not. I, I'm attracted to a certain thing when it comes to your face. I guess. Mm -hmm. It's and it's not bad. Like I would definitely take you out if I saw you. You know, and ask for your phone number. But yeah, I, I think I would rather see you when you first get up. And when you like, you know, when it's just natural, like taking out the trash. Okay, yes. I appreciate that. Um, it's nothing wrong. Not that you would have to take out the trash. Sorry about right, that. Right, I was about to. I, that's so funny. I was but about if to you, say, but, but if you, you got me taking out the trash, no, maybe no. we got to reevaluate some things. Yeah, but, but if you're single and you don't have anybody, to, that's absolutely. what women do. You know what I mean? Absolutely. So. Okay, so you like more of a natural look? Is that what you mean? Yeah, not all the time. Just when you're in Rome, do as the Romans do. You know what I mean? Just you know how to They all have makeup change. on, though. You know how to adapt to every environment. And that's what you, I do. So that's like except for this one, I guess. natural beauty in it. But oh, that's okay. what you have to do. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Let's move on right on over here. Hi, Hi, I'm Ashley. I actually felt bad for popping my balloon because it's like you seem like such a good energy. And it's like it's it's a part of my <laughs> it's messed up to just like pop some a balloon based off like physical because you just seem like you have so much more to you you know and i appreciate your age do you have children yes do you want any more no yeah i see what i'm saying but the thing is it's like my oldest son i'm done having kids too my daughter is my oldest. She's 23. My young, my oldest son is 19, like as of last week. Dang, so you? And he's out of where you was in high like school. Six, four. Like my kids, like I come from like a family of big guys. Yeah, yeah. And I just like, 
you know, they talk a lot of shit. We talk a lot of shit at home. Yeah. And I just don't want you to come in and they be like, what the fuck you doing? Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I am so sorry yeah. <laughs> for all these curse words. But, you know, but you seem like a really dope person. Like, you really seem like a dope person. Thank you. Like, you seem like a dope person. And if you were to approach me on the street, I would probably, like, talk to you and, like, you know, dig a little bit deeper and like see what you were about or whatever. But damn. Yeah, first impression. Like I'm a big woman. Like without heels, I'm five six, but I'm big energy. Like yeah. you know, like yeah. I'm big, and I need you to like come with it. Right. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's all. I'm sorry. No, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> and you're beautiful. I love it. I love the short hair. I love the natural look. I, I am love newly your lips. Headed, okay, like I literally just I love did it. this. She and talks I just a colored lot. my hair like yesterday like, cool. or the day before. Yeah, yeah she like a mom. yesterday. So mm -hmm. she a mom. But dang. And then I, the, the, my best relationship was with a Taurus for real, do this. like for real. So I appreciate Taurus. Like Taurus are like dope as fuck. Like I'm an Aquarius. We're hella flighty, so we looking. need some freaking grounding. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, oh my God, my family is a big part of my life, and I just don't know how that would matter. There's other people on the show, ma'am. I get it. Being cool as fuck, though. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And you don't want to work it. Man, right. <laughs> I'm done with that. You're done. Okay. And now, um, I know you said she's beautiful and all that. So, <sighs> is she your type? She's someone that you would approach? Yeah, I would approach you if I saw you at a anywhere. Where are you from? I'm for, I was born in Cleveland, raised in LA. Oh my God, my fucking Taurus ex. I'm so sorry <laughs> for cursing. I'm sorry. My Taurus ex was from Cleveland. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I will say this. I am like <laughs> underestimated sometimes, but I'm, you know, I, not to be boastful or nothing, but I got my shit together. You know what I mean? Yeah. So like, uh, I don't know. I always get that. Oh, I'm gonna call him after they call the other guys. They call me. Oh and be like, oh, I should have talked to you first. So, How old are your kids? So I have a 21 year old mm -hmm. and I have a eight, I mean, I have a seven and a three year old. Why you start over? I got married again. I've been <laughs> oh, divorced for two okay. years. Yeah. Oh. Been oh divorced. Oh my gosh. My wife didn't have to work for five years, by the way. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Ashley, Ashley. I ain't got time for no two year olds. I'm trying to move around the country. <laughs> I work for an airline and I like to travel. I like to experience different stuff and my kids are grown yeah. so I can move around. I don't got time for, I don't got no babysitter. Well, I take care of that because I am, um, I'm a single dad and they're going to they're gonna come live with me. But like, like I said, I'm not bragging or nothing, but I got my shit together where I pay for daycare or I pay for somebody. I like to travel myself. I'm a traveling musician. I toured for 15 years playing on some of the biggest stages you know of. And I just, you know, you got to prioritize your time. And my yeah. kids are the first ones on my priority list. So I prioritize my Take life after that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Damn, you seem dope as fuck, though. Sorry. What do you think? <laughs> Ashley, what do we, do you want the balloon bag? What are we saying? He got it right in his hand. Go on, give me that balloon bag. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, talk your talk. You got that part. <laughs> talk your talk. Okay, all right. Thank you. I'm feeling this. You were feeling it too. You yeah, no, like, you know, it's kind of fucked up. Like, you know, you come out, first to come out, and it's like, pop, pop, damn. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad it's I'm not insecure. Like, you, you know, so. Yeah. Okay. Talk your talk. Right, good. You know, we could work on everything else. We grown. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All right. Let, me just, let me just bring you on out here, Ashley. Let's let's go back on up here. Right. They you know, ain't even talk to I was me. feeling the vibes <laughs> between the two of you. It don't matter now. <laughs> so I just have one final question. So Ashley, is it gonna be a yes for you? Yeah. <laughs> He's gonna take me off the nap. Bye y'all. <laughs> <laughs> and is it a yes for you? Yes. We got okay. our first match. Hey, <laughs> I'll take that. Thank you, both. Bye, y'all. Oh. Y'all can pretend like them uh, balloons is roses. Go and throw them out. <laughs> she got her man got up out. <laughs> oh, she's so cute. <laughs> All right, ladies. Let's go ahead and bring out our next single man. I better not pop these balloons. Hi, how are you doing? 
Come on in. Come on yeah, in. Yeah, Come yeah, on you in. Know how to act. I'll have grateful. you hold this. Yes. And what's your name? My name is Daryl. Daryl, how old yes. are you? I'm 26. 26. Yes. All right. And Daryl, what do you do? Okay. No, um, I get it. Right now, I'm currently so. a bud tender at Curalee Pavilion. But I also have a bachelor's degree in family and consumer science, nice. and I'm a registered child care provider. Like, um, I'm looking to get my um, independent insurance out here in Arizona right now. So okay. you feel me? Just, you know, working on myself. Love that. All That's right. It. Okay. And now, um, what type of woman do you look for? Um, graceful, mm -hmm. gentle. You feel me? Just, I mean, you know, beautiful. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Just okay. um, a woman who likes me, mm -hmm. you feel me, I, I, you know, um, I don't exactly have any preference, you feel me, but I, I, I do like a woman who know what she wants, Okay. you feel me. All right, so we did yeah. have a couple balloons popped. Let's go ahead and go to a few okay. of these ladies, see what's going on there, okay? All I right, like little let's start right shirt. on over here. And if we can know your name and why you popped your balloon. Hi, my name is Lovely. Hello, and darling. Hi, nice to meet you. It's a pleasure. Uh, you're very handsome. Thank you. You have dreamy eyes, by the way. Thank you. Thank dreamy, you. I, dreamy. I really appreciate that. Uh, it's your age. Um, I am a... I'm a little too young. I'm a 41-year-old woman with okay. an adult child that just turned 25 on Martin Luther King's birthday, by the okay. way. But I love the briefcase. Thank I love, you, you know, I'm the flower in your back. pocket. Trying to bring it back. To bring and it then back. you said that you do insurance. I'm a market director for insurance. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, we, yeah. Definitely we might need to connect. Some business. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, on a business level, for sure. Definitely. <laughs> definitely. I apologize that I'm too young. No, don't apologize. AJ oh. number to number. But definitely. You know what I mean? I'm yeah. still working on me. It's exactly. not you. It's me. Okay. No problem. No problem. Thank you. Okay. Okay. And now, okay. is she your type? She's a beautiful woman. I don't exactly got no type. Mm -hmm. I understand beauty. You feel me? I, I, I pretty much, you feel me? Look at them, see what I like, you know? Okay. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah all that, all that. So all you feel in <laughs> what you that. see? No, she look good as hell. You, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> but you are a very beautiful woman. Thank you feel me? And, I you know, they sitting up. She oh. righteous. <laughs> She You're righteous. honest. That's she good. righteous. She righteous. That. Thank you. She righteous. All right. Let's go on to our next step. Okay. Uh, he just said, he said too okay. much. Okay. Your name and why you ended up popping your balloon. My name is Linda, and I ended up popping my balloon because just hearing him yeah. and what he said is just... You know. I'm, I'm from Chicago, darling. We try to be as transparent as possible. I it's apologize. It's understandable. Yeah, yeah, you don't, you don't like the city, baby? Wait a minute. <laughs> It's history. Understand. But yeah, it was just, uh, you, know. you know. I'm. Hey, Chicago people, if you from Chicago, it's up for you. <laughs> you just said the topic. What? <laughs> if, you, if you from Chicago, it's up. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> we going on. Bro. Out of all the, the contestants that came out, I liked all of them. They were all cool. Oh, yeah. They, they've all been genuine. <laughs> What is, but but what? if you if you from Chicago is up, <laughs> you're done. What's it? This is something in the air. Nah, bro. It's cause it's it's the sea. <laughs> like look at look at look at old girl in the black and white. Stop pausing on her. I, I get why I get why they popped them though. It's cause you you talked about the lady titties. You talk about some. Oh yeah, I see they they perking up. They sitting up. You righteous. Like you can't say that, bro. Like, okay, I understand. Yeah, that. I understand that. Don't say that, but like, if the Chicago one is crazy. Sometimes people say stuff that when they're nervous. He was probably nervous. But looking at her, her boobs. Yeah, is but not the answer. I mean, he's a man. He's gonna look. You're a woman. I haven't like, looked I, at I a understand. single pair of boobs just watching the video. No, I understand, but like, you're looking for, you're looking for somebody to be with. You're looking for somebody to like. Yeah, but saying. She already rejected you one, but you going, oh yeah, you know, you're very beautiful. Your boobs, they sitting up righteous. That, that, that's out of pocket, bro. Yeah, it is, but you know. Chicago is crazy though. Chicago people, it's not for y'all. I mean, no disrespect to her. You know, she just a beautiful woman and what I see, I like to say, you feel me? So women can feel what I say, yeah. so no disrespect. But you are very handsome. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I appreciate that. You fly as hell. Thank you. you. I see you, I see you. Mm -hmm. Period. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, He's let's young. go ahead and go on to our next girl here. Your name and why you ended up popping. Uh, so my name is Rhea, and honestly, I was all in until he said he was from Chicago. And I'm sorry, I just literally came from a very 
I'm sorry. I know I just can't. I can't hear where I was you know, born. But I don't, I don't, man, maybe I shouldn't have popped my balloon. I can't hear where I was born. <laughs> Hold on, can I get another that's, balloon? That's, that's mama. That ain't, that ain't got nothing to do with me, but yeah. I, don't, I appreciate okay, your right, time. You, know you feel me? This is fair chance, okay? Yeah, this, so This is a beautiful experience. I appreciate your time. Because you are very handsome. A, thank and you. I'm like, thank you. the tattoos really got me. Thank you. They, yeah, they, you they very, more? no, all of my tattoos are on my neck. They're very symbolic. Um, growing up, I was just shy. They you look very me? tribal. I, was, uh, I, I really, I, um, the reason why I got tattoos on my neck is to, you feel me, hold my head a little higher. When I was young, very nervous. I used to be in sports, you feel me? So I, I only have tattoos on my neck to, you feel me, be able to keep my head higher, remember to, you feel me, I'm a good man. Stand tall. Yeah, you seem very like Thank a good you. Oh. you know what? I want my balloon back, right? actually. <laughs> yeah, because you popped them off in Chicago. You now. It's a whole city. Yeah. But like, but I will crazy. be honest and say, like, I literally just came from dealing with someone that came from Chicago. And sometimes the logic, for me, I'm from the South. So mm -hmm. I'm from Houston, Texas. Mm -hmm. So the way that my brain works is a, or my thought process is a little different. I know this from um kind of what i like deal with but yeah. you seem pretty cool like i yeah. would definitely be interested I, in I, I, I don't know I if i'm, I'm your type unique, but I, I, I love I your tattoos i love I'm your swag and i love them Chicago shoes nigga. thank you i love them Thank's shoes so she is i'm a model myself i see that you to the fullest i, I never did that before, yeah. but I, you, I, will, I, I thank you for that compliment no, yeah. But you put your fit together nice. I like that. I just that work brief. hard, baby. Yeah. I'm a I like that five, briefcase. Like, I mean, no. Hours, 50 hours a week. Like, you came in here stepping to me. I'm trying to bring it back. So, you I like, I like the whole swag. Okay. Yeah. I'm trying to bring it back. I know. like the watch. No, he cool. This is on. I mean, you, you, you got it for me. Thank you, baby. I'm a simple man. It's just I'm that city. Man, I don't know. Yeah. But I have to get it to know you just you. I, every every nigga from Chicago ain't the same. You feel me? Nah, that's 100%. I ain't no gang banger. You feel me? I'm educated. You feel me? I done worked hard all my life. My resume, incredible. You feel me? So okay. everybody ain't the same. Talk your time. I understand mm. from Chicago, you feel me? It's okay. a couple women I probably wouldn't deal with if they was from this side or that side. So I ain't oh, tripping. no, I, I ain't appreciate tripping on you. it. I ain't tripping on you. You good. But you are very handsome, though. I'm tripping on you. <laughs> yeah, I'm tripping on you. What can you? What does that mean? <laughs> she popped the balloon off rip. I'm like, I'm tired. Oh, I saw that. You look good. You look good. <laughs> Look good. Yeah, yeah. No, you're a very beautiful woman yourself. Okay, yeah. we'll be back because you, you got your his, room his, back. His, his Let's go to some of the ladies that ended up popping. We're going to come back to her. Yeah. <laughs> I'm ugly type shit. I'm an ugly uh, type shit. Pardon? A am I unattractive to you type shit? I just feel. Okay. I want to know what's in there. Are there pol are there are there? Well, you let me find out. That, is the policies? Your policies in there? Whoever actually wanted to find out for me. Yeah, I was going to ask. Would have been able to. Whoever wanted to find out would have been able to. Y'all didn't want to stick around to find that out. There's something so, in there. I don't know if there was it policies is. It in definitely there. is. Of course, a suitcase wouldn't be empty. But whoever wanted to actually find out, they would have been able to. Okay. okay, so I one thing is he's tight. Yeah. He's tight and it's 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 that 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 aggression is starting to come out. And I, I feel like it's he in the hot seat. But one thing is like you can't you can't start pressing the female like you can't start pressing them because you didn't like something like they you didn't like what they initially did so like getting like oh i'm mad at you though like so what what am i ugly like what's up like that's going to come off wrong because yeah you you doing this to her but now look at the atmosphere you're setting for all the other women in there you're coming off as like you argumentative, like you, you not going to let stuff go, mm -hmm. you know? Oh, well, I, and then as you were speaking to the other lady, um, my name's Adana, by the way, uh, as you're nice speaking to, meet to you, Adana. cheers. So as you were speaking to the other ladies, I thought if I wouldn't be able to get rid of you, if, if we broke up or something, like, I feel like something's, you're up to something. Uh, <laughs> I'm up to something. 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 Like no, the spirit I'm, of confusion. This is a blessing. I ain't, I never been through I nothing know. like this before. You yeah. feel me? Okay. Uh, okay. And, and in college, I was in a committed relationship for about three years. So you feel me? I never expected something like this. You know, I was in real love before. So, you know, this is new. You know, I'm happy to be here. I'm ecstatic to meet all of you women. You, y'all look amazing, on bro. So yeah, for them, for them, like you hear me? This, Who are you looking um, at? bro. 
Yeah, house. everything. You you <laughs> tough. You tough as hell. I'm a brick house, but Yeah, everything. <laughs> everything. All that. All that. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm a provider. So you okay. feel me? Tough. What it's kind tough. of provider? No, it's tough. You you popped your balloon. It's tough. Oh, oh I'm okay. Yeah, it's tough. Okay. That's he tough. He's, he's okay. Yeah, that's tough. <laughs> Let's go on to our next yeah. lady. You the here. shit. You tough. You, you, yeah, you got that shit tough. on. You I'm got that shit tough. on. You got that shit on. Yeah, I got that shit on. Bob and that thing. Yeah. I'm fucking with you. Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. I'm a gentleman. Yeah, I'm fucking with yeah. you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All I that. don't know. You give toxic. That's that's why I pop my balloon. I don't know. I don't know. You ain't even want to find out. It's like as soon as I step my foot in it, I'm melting. Yeah. I get it done. Yeah. I get it done. I don't, I don't but know. I, I, I don't be on bullshit. I'm very communicative, respectful. I, you feel me? Like, the only reason why I'm in Arizona right now is because my grandmother started going through some struggles through COVID. So, you feel me? Just wanted to make sure I looked after her for a little bit more. I don't like playing with women. So, mm. you And you 26. It's playful. Stop. Oh, how old yeah. Are you? How old I'm 31. Are you yeah. 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 Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Big girl. Yeah. <laughs> I respect it. Yeah. I'm a provider though, darling. Okay. You feel okay. me? No matter what the age was. Mm. But <laughs> they they got the same energy. Oh, it's so much hostility for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like good girl. <laughs> like good girl. <laughs> you thirty one? Good girl. <laughs> You a big girl. <laughs> Why is there so much hostility? They talk and they talk. Why are there so much of hostility and aggression in their tone? There we go. Okay. I appreciate the opportunity. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, you tough. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So we got three ladies. Okay. okay. That still have their balloon up. Okay. So can I see one of your toothpicks? Thank you. I'm gonna hand this over to you. Just be careful with the briefcase and the mic. Okay. All right. You got it. Why you pop yours? You ain't fucking with me. Personally, you talk like my little brother. Oh, hold on. Let me go ahead. Go How on back. You? I'm 26. Okay. And you and you and you talk like my little brother. I Where feel like from? I'm talking to my little Chicago as well. Oh. Isn't um. that crazy? Okay. Yeah, you're very gorgeous though, but I don't like that you put the fake flower in your vest trying to make it look better than what it was. Yeah. I don't like that you brought a fake briefcase. There's probably nothing in there, and it's also halfway open. You should probably close it. What, also, what I don't like that the fact that you put briefcase? your hat. What would be considered a fake briefcase? Though, though? Fake briefcase. I mean, the hair done. Something? It's done. It's done. So done, why didn't you show your hair? That's what I wanted to do today. I don't understand. What's I just wrong want to see people? I get it. You feel me? I've I've dealt with. You feel me, Chicago women most of my life. You okay, you feel me? Me and your brother probably sound alike because we done been through the same struggles, you feel me? But I could respect that. I just wanted to know what you was thinking about. That's all no. that was. It's just weird talking nope. to my little brother, so. No problem. You can't say little. I'm, you, we the same age, darling. Let's be respectful. Yeah. You sound like him, though. That's so because we from the same place. So you don't like, no, you don't like people from your hometown. I never said and that. And that's respectful. <laughs> I can respect I that. I just want a man with a higher vocabulary, okay. which you don't have on your day-to-day -day speak. Didn't he say he got a bachelor's? He got two degrees. And he on his way to getting another another degree and his own uh, insurance. Basically, he, he probably the most educated person in that room. Okay, so the only thing, the only thing that was like a red, not even a red flag, something that he could probably correct himself on is you can't hold animosity towards somebody that kind of like re rejected you in a sense. I understand where he's coming from as far as like, as soon as I walk in the room, y'all pop the balloon. Like y'all didn't even give, you didn't you give, give me, me a, a fair chance. I understand that. But now you walking up and you got, all the women that were, like popped you as soon as you walked in in your holster and you ready to unload that clip on them like so why you do this why you do that you don't like me am I ugly it's kind of it's it's coming off as if you're insecure and he may not be insecure well he no because remember when he said it he mm -hmm. you right you hit it nail on the head because remember he said why he had to get his tattoos right he he, he grew up high. he grew up he grew up. You shy, know, and shy, insecure, insecure like that. all that. So he's turned it into something to amplify himself, which it's turning into pride. 
That looks like yeah, pride. it's pride because now he's looking at it like he had to he had to essentially get that that type of that type of I am him. I'm I'm him. So it's like y'all popped me before I even said nothing. I know I'm not ugly. So why you, would you pop me for? It's 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 insecurity, like you said. But I get what he's saying because with him being insecure, it does make sense. You popped on me before you even got to know anything no, of me. And, I, and, and like I said, I understand that part, but it's how you carry yourself after that. Yeah. How you carry yourself during the rejection and after the rejection means more than, than the, uh, the initial. rejection uh, initially happening. Right. Because now it's kind of like the, you could tell while he was talking about his degrees, they were popping. He got frustrated. He did the, he got frustrated yeah, or irritated to some I'll degree. I'll be too. It's like, bro, I got a bachelor's degree and yeah, I got my bachelor's degree and I'm also getting my own insurance. Pop. Yeah, but, but the, 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 these kind of women are the women that pop. They don't care about that. It's, it was more so how he talks, his dialect and how he carries himself. Because if you was to throw all of what he has as a man onto contestant number one, none of them would have popped. No, that's a fact. None of them would have popped. That's a fact. But I think it's also with her um, talking about like, oh, you wearing a fake, fo- a, f- a fake flower. Your briefcase is empty. You talk my little like my little brother. It's like you will flame your brother like that. Why you? Of course she would. But it's like, why are you coming at him like that? He just asked you what like what was it that that threw you off? An empty briefcase don't throw nobody off. It's just an object. If I came in here with a binder, it's an accessory. Yeah, if I came in here with a bi- if I came in here with a binder, mm. what does, does that matter? affect anything? Right. If Drake walked in a room with a with a with an empty an empty purse, it's Drake. It don't matter. Mm-hmm. What is the purse gonna do? So for you to be like, yo, fo- I don't like the flower. It's his aesthetic. I don't like the empty briefcase. Why are you looking? How at you know? It? How you know it's empty? And he just said. For it, for whoever wants to pursue me, you can see what's inside the briefcase. So clearly, there's something in there. Mm-hmm. Speaking to all the other women, trust. I know you're good. I I I I talk like where I was born from. I got I got a real like respect. I I can't let you like you feel me throw down what I've been through. You feel me? I'm I never a, said what I, you went I, through. I'm just was. saying though, you 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 tried though, darling. No, I you feel it. me? So I want you to know like. I'm really from struggle. I, I speak a certain type of way, but I've searched for education. I have a bachelor's That's degree. Fine. You feel me? What I what I do right now, I work mm-hmm. with people every day. So I don't want you to just throw shade on hood niggas in general. I wasn't throwing shade on you, Because I speak with a little slang. I got a little hood to me, but I'm mm-hmm. educated, baby. No, that's fine. We can move forward. Thank you. Okay. Let's go ahead and go to our three ladies that still have their balloon up. Definitely, definitely. Tough, tough. Now he cooked it. So, um, oh, the camera. Yeah. Go ahead. there you go. So, off these three ladies that we have here, I'm gonna have you pop one of their balloons just based off of what you're seeing so okay. far. I, I would like to pop her balloon because initially she wouldn't give me a chance because of where I'm from. Mm. Okay. That's fair. All right. That's fair. Sorry Don't pop because that. my city, bro. <laughs> and so now we got two ladies yes. left. Yes. So, do you have a question that you want to ask these ladies to kind of help it narrow down if for you? If I can. Oh, yeah, of course. Me? Go um, for it. Um, what, what would be an example of humility for you? <laughs> an example of humility for me is somebody trying to give me that open, constructive criticism in the way that I respond back to it. That's that maturity answer. level. I like that. I like that. Thank you. And if he and could have your name. My name is Connie. Connie. Connie where Marie. Are you from? I'm from California. Okay. Hmm. I, I've been to California only once in my life, so. I've never been to Chicago, so yeah. we can't. We can't. Okay. <laughs> okay. Understandable. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I right. think Connie is a beautiful woman. You feel me? She mm-hmm. grown. You, mm-hmm. you know, you feel me? She know what she want. You feel me? I, I take care of business. She seemed like she want to be taken care of, so 
I would be honored I if we matched. I seem like I want to be taken care of. No, make not, you not exactly that. like you feel me, but I said I was a provider when I mm-hmm. first walked up and you still got your balloon. So mm-hmm. you feel me? Like I, that's just shit I like to do. I got a grandmother, a little sister. Like, you know, I like to take care of the women that's in my life. That's just something I like to do. You feel me? Do you allow your woman to pay, be able to pull their weight around the house too though? If you, if you, what you want to do, you your own person. You're right, absolutely. You feel me? You, you can do whatever you want to. But, but. no, it's just because, you know, it's a certain type of role that, you know, men like to upkeep when it comes to coming across a woman. So it's like at the end of the day, are you allowing your woman to be able to provide when you out there providing too, though, as far as being able to pull that weight? I, I, I wouldn't mind, darling. You feel me? Like, and we in a new day and age. You feel me? Facts. Women got their own jobs, their own education, their own things going on. You feel me? I just, I just really, you feel me? I work hard. I got three different businesses. You feel me? I'm an owner of something. Like, I, I got a full time job. Like, I want to be loved, but I don't, I don't mind a woman have her own thing going on. I ain't no hater. Okay, you feel me? Good. We get to it together. You Fuck. got kids? I got one son. Okay, yes, so you don't mind a woman with kids? Hell no, nah, hell no. Nah. You want more? <laughs> yes, I wouldn't mind. You feel me? My the the mother of my child has her own family going on. You feel me? So it's not like I got any drama going on. I just financially support see my son when I'm able to see him. You feel me? So okay. You feel me? I don't mind a woman okay. who have her own. You got thing. your own space out here too? Hell yeah, I okay, do my so own thing. Let me know. Something <laughs> yeah, I like yeah. the energy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm new too. So you feel me? Like me too. I ain't got no. I ain't got no troubles, no background, and nothing like that. I'm new here. Okay, me too, yeah. me too, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. All that, yeah. <laughs> All that. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She tough. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. She 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 no, she the thing. She the okay. thing. She was gonna get chose anyway. So I'm, 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 I'm actually blessed and grateful. She, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I yeah. knew she was gonna get chose. Mm-hmm. You, 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 I, I, I we'll be right back. Re- One second. Respectfully, you was a beautiful woman. You feel me? I like the pink hair, the singlet. You're doing your, you, the pink hair, the singlet. You're doing your thing, matching the hair with the heels. Um, y'all all tough. Y'all all very beautiful women. You feel me? I, you I'm feel already me? knowing. These niggas ain't got nothing on y'all. You feel me? So, I, you feel me? I think you're a beautiful woman. No disrespect to you, but this the hood queen right here. You feel me? And I'm from the ghetto for real. You feel me? My art. I'm. I'm an artist. I make music as well. You feel me? I'm a singer and songwriter as a, as well as a rapper. I go by Humble Hood. So like, you you feel me? You you look like you feel me? What I'm what I'm what I want. Mm. Um, bro. That shit. Okay. I'm um, bro. Mm. Okay. Um, bro. It sound good. Yeah. Okay. I mean, okay. You yeah. gonna see that? Cause all I mean, that. baby, I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a grown woman. Oh, I got two hands. Okay. Yeah yeah yeah. All that. All right, say less. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Energy, I like okay, the energy. Okay, so let me have you both come on up up here. The energy is good though. You can just stand on this side of me, please. <laughs> okay, and I heard you say you do music. Yeah. What, what kind of music do you do? Um, I sing, I rap, I'm a, a songwriter, performer. I have a music video that I recently put out. Mm-hmm. Just, you feel me, I, I ain't nobody. I don't know if I'm somebody special, but I'm trying. You feel okay. One of those. Yeah. Could I'm, we hear a little something? Right, like, you know, let me hear you sing some. I, you know. <laughs> come on, come on. Okay. I mean, I, if you need I, a I beat, I got you with the beat. Let I, me know. I, I wouldn't mind. I, w- I wouldn't mind. Um, I say, like, baby, your body. Hold on. Can I put this down? Go ahead. He got it. He got it. He oh, still want to know what's in there. Can I do oh, a yeah. song request? You want a specific song? Yeah, I, you feel I wanna, me? I wanna try a song request. So I, anxious I, I, by Genuine. Let me try that one. You said what? So anxious by Genuine. Ah. You, you you want me to sing slow, slow, slow. But I ain't like I, I ain't genuine, you feel me? Right. So I, I was gonna like try one of my own songs, you feel me? See if you fuck with me, you feel me? Just something that I got. Oh, I, it's getting, I, I don't it's getting know. cringy, bro. <laughs> I just want to know if they slow, walk off. I, I just want to know if they walk off because I don't want to hear him sing, bro. <laughs> it's okay, match. it's a match. So she okay. She specifically like, slow one. Go ahead, you feel do, me? do your own thing. Go ahead. Let's yeah, hear. I'm I'm a rapper first, and I know how to hold a tune. You feel me? So I say like, baby, your body amazing. You feel me? Like, baby, your body be calling. I'm feeling like answering, staring at you like a mannequin. Come over here and come get some of this. I be handling all of the business you bantering about. I'm about en route. Come outside. 
baby girl, I'm about to slide. Come over here, girl. I ain't gonna lie, I had a couple drinks, but I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, like you feel me? I had a couple drinks, gang. But but you feel me? I had a couple drinks. I'm lit up. I ain't gonna lie, you feel me? Okay, but so that explains I, I, a little I bit will, of I, I do got a couple tracks out there, you feel me? A couple I still out. wanna hear the singing portion. Okay. Hold on, I got you, I got you. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Hold on, I got Stop you. Stop trying to play me, gang. You ready? You got to hit it, though. Okay, hold on. Okay. Damn, you actually talented as hell. <laughs> Can I get the lyrics? I don't know the lyrics. Oh, oh, no. No. Oh, my God. I don't know the lyrics. She was doing it though. Girl. Can you say that one more time, darling? Thank you. Like, no, no. no. All right. I get I get it, but I, I don't I don't know the song. I don't want to disrespect Genuine. You feel me? Um bro. Folks are folks are talented artists. Um bro. Like I got my he own is. original music. If you wanted me to perform that, I would have, but you feel me? I, 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 I get you on a spot like yeah. just to see what you was talking about. And I don't mind. You feel me? I would have performed on Bruno. You feel on me? Bro, but yeah. you said <laughs> you said genuine. I'm twenty. You feel me? Twenty six. That don't mean nothing. I just don't know the lyrics. What you want me to mumble on national television? <laughs> <laughs> like, okay. Uh, I'm not gonna do Bruno disrespect. All right. So. <laughs> nah, he entertaining. Maybe he could sing for y'all when he go right, on your first right. date. So is it gonna be a yes for you for him? Yeah, that's a yes for me. And then what about you, sir? Is it a yes for you for her? Hell yeah. Hey. Hell yeah. <laughs> we got another match. Oh, <laughs> wow, wow. Boy, we knew there was nothing in there. Oh, I cute. Know. Oh, it's cute. It's cute. It's cute. Come on, man. Come on, man. You want me to open that motherfucker? All right. Thank you guys for coming. Let's give it up for them guys. <laughs> that was good. That was good. All right, let's go ahead and bring out our next single man. Welcome in. Hey, welcome. What's your name? My name's Alberto Devon. What is that? Alberto. Alberto? Bro, she got the biggest attitude ever. For what? For what? That's his name. He ain't picked the name. <laughs> That's not. It's his name is Alberto. Like what? He ain't picked the name. That's Albert. Say what you's going to say something. <laughs> like. <laughs> I don't know what you want me to say. What's wrong with him? <laughs> say something. <laughs> What's wrong with Alberto? I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I just, I'm trying to, I'm trying to process, I'm trying to process him myself. Cause <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. When he first walked out, I thought he had on a Foot Locker shirt. <laughs> but then when he panned forward, I'm like, oh, okay, that's a nice little, that's a nice little shirt, nice little button down. It's cool. Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but that that's the only thing uh -huh. that I could think of as he, why I don't know. He don't valid. Know. He valid. I mean, it's nice. I like it. I thought he had on a Foot Locker shirt, but when I saw the stripes was a little bit thinner, it's just, you know. And how old are you? Uh, thirty six. Thirty six. What do you do? Uh, for myself, I paint. For your, okay, you paint, oh. you're an artist? Yeah. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Very cool. Pinky. <laughs> you got pink Pinky. hair. Why? Why did you pop? Come on. Pinky gonna do what she gonna do. You have pink hair. Let, let her let her let her cook. Or let her pop. It's okay. I'm I'm not even in the dating game, but I'll fight that lady. Cause I turn red bro. You can't. <laughs> Oh, fight her, bro, because like it's like, bro, like. Well, 
She's 23, so. I don't give a crap. <laughs> it's like, it don't matter. <laughs> and now, what do you look for in a do? woman? Um, Just loyalty. Mm-hmm. And more than anything. Outside of that, I pretty much can figure out everything else. Okay. She, uh, okay. Yeah. And, and do you have, like, a type or anything like that? Um, The ones that ain't popped the balloons. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. But no, like for myself, um, like, eh, we're gonna rock out with that. Okay, all right, yeah, fine. Let's go that. ahead and go to some of the ones that ended up popping their balloon just right, to get cool. a little bit more info. Let's rock with them. Okay. So, first things first, uh, my name is Rizoma, and I love that you're chasing your dream as an artist, but is that your only thing that you do? Do you have a regular nine to five or? Yeah, I also have a regular nine to five, but as well, the art is what's really just teeing it up right now. Okay, so it's like a hobby. Okay. No, it's a career. Oh, okay. it's a career. Yeah, I just got to knocking out a few shits. I just knocked out Arizona Fashion Week. Nice. Um, in October, and um, we starting to travel to L.A., New York. That's dope. Yeah. Okay, and then uh, next cute, question. Though. Thank you. Next question. You said that you were just looking for loyalty. So the reason why that bothers me, only because I popped my balloon, is because my ex said that a lot, mm-hmm. and he wasn't shit. So. To me, I don't think loyalty should be the only thing you're looking for, but, I mean, go for it, love. I'm uh, great for projecting. <laughs> Thank you. But I appreciate you. Of course. Yeah. And now, is she your type? No, she decent, but, um, you know, she she's still over her ex. She got some shit going on with her ex. She got to figure that out first. No, I really don't. I just... No, you I do. Repetition, I know to go the opposite way, so... You're projecting on the next man. I'm not projecting, but okay. You are. Yeah, you, you are. That's literally what projecting is. You are. You took... You took the image or the likeness of one person and you put it on another person and put that they are that. Yeah. You projected it. That's what old girl did to um with the Chicago. Yeah. You oh Chicago. My ex from Chicago. Okay. And so any man that talks about wanting loyalty to her eyes, saying that I want a woman who's loyal, ain't Ain't crap. So then if if a dude walk in there and be like, I just want some booty meat, bruh. I don't want no loyalty or none of that. I just want I just want some cheeks, bruh. Like, is that valid then? Is that valid for her? Yeah, that's what she wanna give. You know, I feel like that meme that be on TikTok where the dude be like, uh, it's like the the X for women. Uh-huh. And you know how it's like uh, it's on like six hundred and ninety or whatever of icks that like women don't like. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Like the icks is like one of them. One of them is like, oh, um, my ick in a man is if a man wears swimming goggles while he's swimming. I don't know. Uh, okay, so I don't use TikTok or anything like that. I know the the male version of that where it's uh, on Twitter. Like it's a, like a list of things that men can't do. That yeah, that's, that's it. Yeah, okay. it. yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that right there. It's like if I was that dude that does that, I would watch this video and be like, all right, number seven hundred. Don't want loyalty. Like <laughs> men no, are not, not allowed that. to want loyalty. Yeah, you can't have loyalty. <laughs> you can't have loyalty. Like that's freaking crazy, bro. For sure, like, I'll take whatever you say. Here you go, Next. sweetheart. <laughs> That pop, that pop, baby. Okay, pop again. Uh, <laughs> Let's go down on over here. Cool. <laughs> All right, and why did you end up popping your balloon? I pop my balloon because you quiet. Then a bench. I'm on. Yeah. Yeah. You. Very much so. I'm loud. I can tell. Yeah. <laughs> so, I don't know. You be alright though, baby. Mm. Mm. What? Yeah, what? Yeah. Mm. And is she your type? Not at all. But you, you know, right? somebody gonna be there for you. Somebody will. Uh, mm-hmm. What's the animosity? Yeah. Do you know him? That's why I pop my balloon. No. Uh-huh. Yeah. You'll be okay. Right. What's yeah. wrong with? Why are y'all wrong? Right, Nick. They coming why at this like so rude. <laughs> <son to him. laughs> did they feed these women before they came on set? Did they feed them? Are they hungry? Is that what you? They must be hungry. She had an attitude. Her, the shorty at the front. And then this green hair, I mean the green dress, Adana. They've been having issues with everybody since the the the, the thing started. Cause they need to be on a different. They need to be on a different show. They don't need to be on this. They need to be on something like, uh, with the seasoned men. A little older. He thirty six. That ain't old. Uh-huh. Popping your balloon. Um, he's cute, but obviously not really my type. And what makes him not your type? I like more taller, more darker. 
Okay. Um, why? Why do? Okay. She 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 gave her answer. She gave her response. That's the why. The darker thing is okay. I get it. If you're if you're four feet tall, what allows you to dictate what's tall enough? Like. You're four feet tall. Everything, everything you see in this world is from a looking up perspective, right? If you stand close enough to somebody, it doesn't matter how tall you are. You stand close enough to somebody, you you still gonna look up, right? So, what is the difference between a six foot look up and a five eleven look up and a five ten look up when you're four foot six? I, I don't know. I can't speak for short women because I'm I'm five eight, five nine. I'm tall. <laughs> I'm tall. tall. So it's like I, I, I don't struggle with what they struggle with. I don't see what they see. So I it's all it's preference. Yeah, He's good looking. He's just his knife. Just tall and darker. Okay. And same for you. Is she your type? Not at all. Her hair too loud. Her hair is too loud, you said? Yeah. Her okay. her facial expressions I'm as the host. <laughs> it's just too loud. It's okay. Too loud. I guess. Oh, go ahead and turn this way. The cameras are that oh. way. Yeah, yeah, you're good. <laughs> okay, and then apart from the hair, like, that's changeable. And is there anything else? Like No, other than that, she already okay. uh, Who popped? We got another pop over here. We gotta go talk to them. <laughs> oh, yeah, honey. You got two. Yeah, that'll be all right. What is this? Let's go ahead and. What is it's, this? It's guess who popped? Adana. So the green, she, the girl in the green, girl in the green, and, and tall the, girl with the with blonde the, with, hair. No, with the nah, it was girl in the green and girl with the red hair. Oh. Is hot pink not a very vibrant look at me type of color? Yeah, yes, yes, it is. But I, I don't necessarily. Uh, I think it's loud. I it, yes, the color itself is loud. It depends on how you wear it and like the style that you have, because your style kind of has to go with your hair in a sense. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel it to tone it down a little bit. I feel it, but I, I agree with him a hundred percent. Just because, um, when you do. Like the super light blues, the neon greens, the hot pinks, the freaking um, I'm colorblind, but it's like a form of yellow. It looks like highlighter yellow. Yeah. Right. Even though I don't see all the colors everybody sees. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, Those four specific colors. And there's probably another one I've noticed. Um, Whenever I see those colors, I immediately get that. Uh, this person is going to say something or do something or um, they have something that is going to come off like they do not want to be known as being like in the norm. Like they doing it as a statement, like I need to stand out. I don't. There are some people like that. I agree. Right. But then there are people that she probably just really likes the color pink and that's, and that's okay. And there they'll probably be a man that's like, Oh, well I like her pink hair. It's yeah, not no, too that's loud a fact. for me. But for him, it's like, okay, yeah, it's too loud. But and it's not like it looks bad. It don't look bad. I'm just like, if I was to go on like a dinner date and you had that color pink braids, it would take me some time to get used to because it would be like, cause like now you like, you limit to, Sometimes when we go out, I like to match. I like to match with you. I can't, I'm never going to rock pink. I've had pink braids, pink and blue braids. Yeah, but you didn't do it like that. And it no, wasn't that, it wasn't that. I feel like, I feel like if it was like black with a, a, a pink peekaboo, like it's a right. black it's like, like Cause you have the contrast. Look, when, when you look forward, you can see the pink in the back. Right. That's cute. If she would have did that same hairstyle and the pink was the highlights. Well, it's a wig, so it's kind of like. Oh, I, yeah. What? Well, see, that's yeah, how I, I couldn't even tell. I thought that was her hair. But um, if she would have did pink highlights, 
it would have been cool. Mm-hmm. I just one color I'll never I'll never accept is that that what is it called? It's the blue that's like super baby blue. Nah, Sky blue? it's not even midnight it's, blue. It's the one Ninja used to have. Ooh. The streamer. This. This. <laughs> I actually like that blue. But do it do um. Yeah, I had those color braids. That that exact same color. With but you still had your black hair in it too. Yeah. Right? I'm talking about just full on. Oh no 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 yeah yeah uh, it just it just depends it just depends not everybody can rock that though because um like I like the color I would prefer like if you do it that color make your roots dark right to to contrast, it's contrast. It out. yeah right I feel like when you just do it like this it just comes it, it gives me the impression that like there's like a level of like immaturity attached to it. No. I may be I may be missing, but just on my own personal perspective. Yeah, I just think people like what they like, and if that's the color that they want to rock, that's the color that they want to rock. But you, whether you rock that color or not, you can't be upset with people's critiques or criticisms of the color that you're rocking. You just got to be confident enough to know, like, okay, well, this may not be for this person, but it's, somebody yeah. out there likes it, right? You know, let's go right back over here. <laughs> Why did you end up popping your balloon for him? He seems uh, like volatile, dangerous. Like if if I were to say like I'm not interested or something, he might accost me. What do you mean? Accost me, like belittle me or put me down if I no. like. It seems like you're not good with like a negative comment. Yeah. So, Y'all belittled him you. as soon as he came no, out. No, not at all, sweetheart. Okay, well, see, that's that yeah, sweetheart. Yeah, I just rubbed. what the Chicago. It's, it's a ni- wait, wait. The it's Chicago. A you know what's crazy? The Chicago dude did forty percent more than what this dude has done, and they didn't say nothing. He called him baby, shoddy, um, on phone him, freaking <laughs> <laughs> right. Am I am I lying though? He was like, nah, it's all I think, baby. On bro. It's all it's all bro, baby. It's all I I came from struggle, baby. Like he did all that and none of them said that. Maybe I feel like I feel like they're trying to make it as if him using sweet sweetheart baby is condescending. condescending. Served and I noticed that. Which that's that's all. When a woman says no, it's okay, love. As far as you, like what she was you doing up front. He was straight. He was all right. It's been coming off as condescending. Yeah, you got your own opinion. I'm not you for it. Yeah. And he has a quiet voice, which is crazy. Yeah. I'm not getting no aggression you said out of it. Straight. Like, is that does that mean she's someone that you would approach? Yeah. Probably. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay, cool. Well, let's go ahead and uh, go right back on over here. <laughs> and why did you end up popping your balloon for him? Well, he told the other young lady that her hair was too loud mm. and um but your hair's I'm not very loud. I'm eccentric myself, so like, if you don't like someone being eccentric and like expressing themselves on how they look, then yeah, I don't think I'm your match. <laughs> All right, that's understandable. But y'all gotta also take into effect that I'm a painter as well. So, being expressing, being loud, I can dig it. Just the hair. It just was the thing because she asked me, what was the thing that would have deeded me from her, and it was just the hair. Is my hair loud? No, it's just decent. Oh. Well, thank you. Mm. I thought it was loud. I like the I like the <laughs> Thank you. People don't. I don't think people know what loud means. It just stand. It stands. It stand, Like her hair color is brighter than her dress. Right. It's very. It's out there. It's very. Right. In your face. People don't understand. And luckily, I learned this from my mom being a hairstylist because she, when she used to dye my hair, she wouldn't. Um, she wouldn't let me get certain hairstyles. I mean, hair colors, because it's the it's the attention that comes with the yes. the, the color, right? Yes. So I did jet black. I did purple. Um, purple yeah. I did dark blue. Yeah. Like a dark dark blue. Yeah. And it was just because it's enough for people to see and be like, oh, there's some color, but it was enough that like I'm not. If I'm in the room, 
everybody's not suddenly looking at my blue hair. Yeah. No, I, I get it. Yeah. yeah. Her hair is not loud because people that one, there are gingers and two, there are people that have the auburn maroonish type of hairstyle. It's very common. Mm-hmm. Um, even even when you bleach like the ble- bleach that I would put that color in my dread. Well, I can't do it in California, but I would put my put some little darker. I, I would put some. <laughs> I can't. I can't do that color out here. But I can I if I lived in like Alaska or something, I would. I would rock that color. <laughs> I don't think they. I don't think they. They gang banging in Alaska. They're not gang banging in Alaska. But when it's morning time, it looks dark. And when it's dark, it's morning. So yeah, it's, yeah, it's dark. Yeah, it's dark. Yeah, ain't nobody gonna see it. That's the thing. I can't. I can't again? do that color out here because, you know, it's just you know. But. Thank you. Okay. So just apart from him saying that, was that like the only thing that you weren't feeling? Um, also as well, there's just some other uh, things that, that this is not my swag. Elaborate. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, you have the things going on, um, you know, and uh, he has the what? The things going on with his, the gold in his yeah. mouth. Oh. Yeah. It's permanent. Yeah. yeah. I'm not a fan of that really. It um, works. That's your style. It's cute. Yeah. I mean, you got a little swagger there, but it's just not my preference, I per se. Yeah. Cool. And yeah. is she yeah. is she your type? Mm-hmm. Um, she all right. She bad. Like I could definitely see myself getting her. She bad. Thank mm-hmm. you. All right, cool. Thank you. Okay, let's go right on over here, mm-hmm. and if we can have your popped. name, why you ended up popping? Oh Hi, my name is Linda, and I popped just by hearing you. Kind of sound like you got a little attitude. Not at all. This is this is this be my problem. Y'all give women these platforms to do this, and from the first pop, from the first pop, from the very beginning, this video went from meh. Crash and burn. So anybody else that's coming on after, you're gonna feel the heat. You're you're, you're just gonna feel it because it's like y'all have been belittling this man since he walked out. Y'all, especially old girl in the front. I don't know what her issue is. Y'all don't interview these people before they come on the shows. I think they brought her on there just because they felt like she would be good controversy. They want they it's all about the views and clicks, right? It's all about what is going to get people. We wouldn't have even found this video if I didn't see the clip of old girl tweaking out. And I'm like, bro, this chick mad disrespectful. I got to show my wife because it's it's shocking all. But as I watch this video, um, it makes me it makes me it makes me concerned for the dating sphere, for people that are trying to find real genuine love. Because all this shows is that people are extremely hypocritical in their judgment of finding a match. Yes, because the woman that has the red lipstick and the short bob, she popped, gave her explanation. But her explanation, while she's giving it, she's giving like raw, raw energy. Like, yeah, I popped. And so, yeah. I'm on that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Somebody will get me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'll be good. I'm all right. But you have the nerve to say that this man has an attitude. And almost every other woman that he's a, he's walked up to that popped has been rude. Has been rude. So it's like. You could dislike somebody without having to tear them down like that. It's it's funny because the first the chick told him, I don't like him. The chick that can have the attitude, I don't like him because you're just too quiet and I'm full of energy. I'm loud. I'm loud. Okay, that's fine. So you can be that. His first critique was he's too quiet. But then now it's nah, I can feel it. he got an attitude. It's like he's 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 listening to people say stuff and then he he has the right to respond to what you're saying. And then too. In this panel, the man is courting you. The man is choosing you for himself. You're not picking him. 
in a sense. Like, so even if he's even if you're feeling him and he not feeling you, he's not gonna get you. You're he's not he's he's not gonna get you, and you're not gonna get him. Like women carry themselves as if they're the prize, they're the end all be all. And a lot of men that deal with women like that would prefer to be alone than to have to deal with stuff like that. But, and it's crazy because it, and it, it makes sense why a lot of women today are still single. There are more single women in the world than there are single men. That's a fact. And it's just, it's because a lot of, a lot of women don't understand that in this dating world, right? In the world of relationships, right? There are less of us and more of y'all. Meaning that too much of us. If every man on the planet got with one woman right now, there's a huge chunk of women that would be alone. Mm -hmm. And they don't understand that. And so he they've only went through four dudes. Four dudes, right? Yeah. They have the the business the, the model dude, homeboy that they kept saying his his fashion was off, even though he had that fit on. Um, the dude Chicago. that just Chicago and now him, you've had four men and there's like 10 women out of four men, two men got to walk away with a woman, meaning that there's two men now and potentially three men. There's three men now that got rejected by 10 women. Well, guess what? They each have more women to cycle through. They can go, those three dudes can go through 20, 30 episodes of this. And if it, even if they get rejected every single episode for 20, 30 episodes, they can keep going, right? Because no matter what, there's always going to be a surplus of women left over. Yep. Them, every man that you pick, guess what? That's a fish that's out of that, that pond, that bowl. Mm-hmm. Once they're all gone, guess what? It's just going to be a whole bunch of fishermen sitting there and there's no fish in the pond because mm -hmm. there's more fishermen than there are fish. And y'all are passing these fish up because, oh, I don't like him. He too quiet. I don't like him. He too loud. I don't like him. He he don't carry himself like a man. I don't like him. He don't know how to just let loose. Like, it's it's just like. You don't like this fish because it's brown and you don't like this fish because it's not brown. I I blame society for that because society makes people in general very indecisive. Like you can say, oh, I want a man that has six figures. I want a man that grooms himself. I want a man that uh, has multiple cars. I want a man that this, this, this. You can have the, and the man can check all those things in that category that you want. But if one of those things that in that category, what you want is not there, that man is trash. Go away. It's, it's not enough. No, it's not got, enough. He got a 90, he got a 99%, but it's not a hundred percent. So yeah, he, it's he not throw enough. Off. It's not enough. But then it's like, it's just, it, I don't know the day. I feel bad. I feel bad for the, the dating sphere because. Yeah, there's a lot of toxic men in this world. But I'd say for every to one toxic man, there's three toxic women because just that's just statistics. You guys outweigh us that much. And so once you get rid of all the toxic men, guess what? There's going to be a, a pool of good men, but you toxic women are still going to be on the on the playing field. I just feel like. I just feel like women are just so. I don't even know how I say it. I don't know. I ain't gonna say nothing because I ain't trying to get you canceled. I'm not. A I'm not a woman's woman. I'm a. I'm a. I'm a people's type of person. Like I hold people. I hold people accountable for the things that they say and do in this world, whether it be a man or a woman. But I don't agree with ninety five percent of the things that women do. That's just me. A little feisty. Yeah, I'm very confident mm -mm. about myself. I don't want to deal with that. That's cool. But you're a good guy, though. You seem really nice, but I just, yeah, he talked back too much. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all got too much to say. <laughs> he talked back too much. Okay, and now, is she your type? Like, are you feeling her? Oh, she's beautiful. 
I love Thank your you. eyes. Thank you. You're handsome. Thank you. Okay. All right, so, then. So we do have one lady with her balloon still unpopped. Mm -hmm. So did you have any questions you wanted to ask her, kind of narrow it down, see if this would be a yes for you as well? It's going to be a no, most so likely. So for yourself, um, what are you looking for in a man? So what I'm looking for is somebody who is creative, but um, also somebody who understands what it means to love unconditionally. And when mm -hmm. I say unconditionally, that means that you are all in. So if okay. you're going to want to ride with me and you're going to want to ride with me with limits, like you have certain things that are just like, like you can't do, that's a no-go for me. Okay, and now, um, is she your type? To be honest with you, um, I love everything that she was just saying. Um, I love everything that she was just saying. But as far as my type, I um, think you are. Oh, I um, definitely understand. I think that you will find that person for you. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't think myself will be that. Oh, that's totally fine. I definitely appreciate the honesty. Yeah. Always. It's the only way I can be. All right, so you're end up, you're actually popping her balloon then? Yeah. Today. I'll pop it myself. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, unfortunately, that is all of the balloons popped. Cool. So thank you so much for coming on out. Ladies, let's go ahead and give it up for him. <laughs> he was a cool dude. All right. Let's go ahead and bring out our next single guy. <sighs> welcome, welcome. Who can we have your name? My name is Bo. All right, Bo, and how old are you? 30. 30, okay. <laughs> and Bo, what do you do? Model and act. You model and act, okay. Mm -hmm. And what do you look for in a woman? Uh, good personality. Uh, yeah, I'll say good personality first. So what's considered a good personality for you? Not too like hard to deal with, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. So everything is cool, not a little attitude. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So. Do y'all like being a problem? <laughs> Do y'all like... What? You popped the balloon because the man said he just wants somebody easy to deal with? If you're a lot to deal with and you're a lot to handle, then stay by yourself. <laughs> just stay by yourself. Because nobody should have to put up with all of your mess. Child, no. Oh. He said, I just want a woman that... Let's just chill, relax, that's reserve. Chill, not a lot to deal with. Not a lot pop, to deal pop, with. And they popped it angry. Hey, oh, oh, he ain't gonna, if you can't handle me and all my flaws and all of what I got on, pop! Well, dang! And it's like, so you want a man that's going to accept the problems you bring to the table? And instead of you fixing those problems and making yourself better to get the type of man you want. He need to accept me in all my flaws and I, I got an attitude. Um, I don't cook. I don't clean. And he better accept that. Like that's. And you don't, don't get me wrong. Not everybody. Everybody doesn't come perfect when they come to the table. There is things that that's you're going to have to fix together at the table because there, there'll probably be things that. I struggle with that. I don't see myself doing until you bring it to my attention, but it's my, it's now it's my responsibility to either fix the problems that you're pointing out to me or sit and sulk and be mad and be bitter at the fact that I'm too much to handle, but you don't want to have to deal with it. That's not fair. That's selfish. And that's prideful. And it's ugly. And the thing they don't, the thing those women don't realize if he doesn't want somebody that creates problems or is difficult to deal with. You are what you attract, right? Exactly. So by you also not liking that he wants peace, you just basically point out that you don't want a man that is peaceful either. Mm -hmm. So you want a man with problems because he's not going to want a peaceful woman if he's not a peaceful man. And then it's like you, you want a man with problems in a sense and then when you get the man that has the problems because he accepted all of your problems and y'all fall out 
And then when a man that don't have problems comes along, oh, nope. I got too many problems. He can't handle me. And I'm not willing to change. <laughs> I'm so not he willing can't to change. Me. Oh, let's go ahead and go over to some of these ladies that popped their balloon just to go ahead and get a little more info. Mm -hmm. All right. We'll start right on over here if we can have your name and why you popped. So my name is Rhea, and unfortunately, you are very handsome. The only reason that I did pop my balloon is because you said you don't like a woman that is a lot to handle, and I know for sure I'm a lot to handle. Um, my mouth can get real crazy, uh, <laughs> so I would just say that right now. I'm a Capricorn, so... What? Yeah. What? what do you... What does you... What? The stars told her that she's a person with an attitude. So, because the star said she has an attitude, she got an attitude. This is this is what's wrong with people. I'm a Capricorn, so I know I got a raunchy mouth. I'm a Capricorn, so I know that I got a bad attitude. I'm a Capricorn, so I know that I'm I'm destined to not find love. I'm a Capricorn, so I know that. Um, I probably won't have a lot of friends for the rest of my life. I'm a Capricorn, so I know that. What the heck? Who comes up with these horoscopes? Who tells y'all this? Who writes it out? Uh. Who writes it out? I mean, horoscopes come from like. We know where it come from. Yeah, we know where it I come just. From. Do I believe that if I went back in time to like the medieval ages and I met like the like the guy who first looked up at the stars and made the like the constellations, if I came up to him and I was like, hey, man, so I'm a Sagittarius. What am I going to be? I'm pretty sure he would look at me like. You looking at stars for how you are like because I don't even think he intended the scariest thing. The scariest thing in in this day and age, in this world, is to not know who you are and allow somebody else or something else mm, to tell you who you are. That's a bar. So if you don't know who you are as a person and you allow something on Wikipedia, Google, Pinterest, Instagram, TikTok, or Twitter tell yeah, you who bar. you are, <laughs> you need to have some deep soul searching and understand who you are as a person. I'm not going to sit up here and let a Facebook post tell me I'm this and I know I struggle with this, 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 and this. That's a bar. No. That's a bar. Be, be, take accountability for what, for what you are and what you struggle with. If you are a person that has a bad attitude or you are a person that is very opinionated, say that. Don't attach, oh, well, I'm this way because I'm a Capricorn. That's a bar. No, that's a that's a bar. That's a bar. Just say, just say you're, you know. Yeah. Like because, I, because I'm very opinionated. I have, I speak up a lot, and that might be problematic for some men. Okay, that's fine. But don't say I'm problematic because my when I was born, that was the star constellation, and it all creates problematic people. Right. Like. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit of a bull session sometimes when what, it comes to what is lot to handle things so a lot to handle to me is that um i'm very feisty so i don't back down when i feel very passionate about something if we cannot come to amicable conclusion about it we can argue about it and some of the things that i might necessarily say may not be nice may not be nice um i don't always think before i speak as I so okay, you get so angry that you you, well that that's a that's a character flaw because you're not in tune with your emotions. No matter how angry I get at you, mm -hmm. if I get so angry that I call you out your name mm -hmm. or I start saying stuff I wouldn't normally say to you, mm -hmm. like oh you ugly and that's why you fat and that's why you if I if I start doing that that's how I felt the whole time. Mm -hmm. So. That's a character flaw on your part because that means that whole entire relationship up until that point, you wasn't being genuine with you me. You was just letting it build up. You was coping with me. Yeah. So then you should have never been in a relationship. Right. I should. Uh, so um, if I feel like I am being offended, I will react. 
mm. um, which is not always a good thing. But I am self-aware. Uh, it's something I'm working on within myself, but I know that. So I know that that's a lot to deal with, especially when you're dealing with someone that's already healed or already knows who they are or mm -hmm. what they're looking for. Um, I'm just not in that place yet. I still can get a <laughs> then you Very shouldn't much. be dating. You shouldn't be um, trying to date nobody right now. Myself. So uh, I would say that I'm a I think I, I heard somebody say, they said, uh, the thing about dating is the way dating is supposed to work is you're supposed to be a complete half of a person. Right. right? So like, say for instance, like every human uh, at perfection, we're 50%, right? right? At perfection. You are supposed to be your perfect 50%. And you're supposed to find somebody who's that perfect 50%. That way you both become one. One. You're complete, right? And they said that we are broken people trying to find other broken people to make us complete. But none of us know what it's like to be complete at all. Okay. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm flawed and you're flawed. But I think by getting with you, we'll both be perfect. But all the flaws that I have and you have don't go away because rather than learning how to fix it myself or perfect it myself, I'm expecting you to know how to fix it for me. And because I don't know how to fix my own problems, I suddenly believe that by getting with you, all the problems you got, I can easily handle. Completely ignoring the fact that I'm bringing my own problems too. It it's okay, it's okay for somebody to have problems. It's okay for somebody to be flawed in certain areas and stuff like that. Um, because even when we come, even when we come to God, God doesn't want us completely whole. He doesn't want us completely full and complete. Because he wants you as if you are. It, he yeah, he wants you as you are. Because if I come into a situation. And I'm like, well, God, I need this, 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 and this. And I'm feeling like I really don't need him because I'm exceeding and excelling in all these things because I figured it out myself. You won't need anybody else at that point. You won't need anybody to come and correct you or tell you that you're wrong because your capacity is already full. So it's okay to have problems. It's okay to acknowledge those problems, but you still got to be open and receptive to what somebody's going to come in and tell you when it comes to those problems. Or um, if you if you and I have the same problems, but we deal with them differently, and this is working for me, and this is working for you, we have to be open enough to want to, you know, change, adapt, reenact, whatever. Make it, make it better. Make it better. Make it better. No, that's a fact. So her having problems, it's not necessarily a problem. And it's, it's the fact that it's not her having issues is not a problem. It's the, the problem comes in the unwillingness to change. Exactly. If you know you have a flaw. Yes. And, but you don't want to change it. Well, then guess what? You're going to remain stagnant as a person. Mm -hmm. And when we get together, we're supposed to elevate each mm -hmm. other to next levels. Mm -hmm. Like, for instance, this content creation stuff. Right. This is stuff that I want to accomplish. Mm -hmm. This is not your dream. This is my dream. But. I understand that to get to a point, I need to level up myself, meaning I need to put myself with people that also want to pursue the dream. But I also have to make sure my spouse understands the dream. And by you doing this content with me, it's able to level me up because now not only am I thinking about making content that I want to make, but I'm also thinking about making content that I want to make. But that can also open the door and be content that you can enjoy making or you can even enjoy watching. You know what I'm saying? Yes. But also to add on to that. My dream is whatever your dream is. My dream is to see your dream succeed. My dream is to see you happy in that dream. My dream is to be a part of whatever your dream is, right. even though it necessarily isn't mine. It's not my vision. But if I know this is this is what you want to do and this is your vision to make it, or you feel like this is what's going to be the end-all, be-all, and this is what you are 
aspiring to do at that time in life because everybody's dreams change. They either change or they they uh they expand and grow into something more than what their initial dream is. Right. So this is just the start. Mm-hmm. But my dream is to see see yours finished, completed, done. Like mm, that's fun. a lot uh, to handle sometimes. Okay. I can be very boisterous. Okay. All right. And is she your type, Bill? Yeah, she's very beautiful. Oh, thank but you so much. Thank you for explaining that, but I was like, yeah, that probably would have been a problem. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I can tell by your demeanor, you seem very sweet and very soft. And um, the type of person that I probably would uh, offend mm. at some times, and I would hate to be like that type of woman. Okay. All right. Thank you. So- <laughs> okay, let's go on over to our next lady. Your name and why you popped. My name's Adonna. Um, I popped it because you seem very tired and oh. <laughs> what, don't, don't, don't laugh. It's very serious and like sleepy. And I was thinking like an extra and Friday and I thought like, extra on Friday. Do y'all want somebody? And this is no shade, but do y'all want somebody like Kai Sinat coming up in there? <laughs> Loud, adventurous, free, just energetic, bouncing off the walls, had probably four bags of Sour Patch Kids. This man came in calm, cool, and collected, and that's a problem. Why? He seems tired. I'm glad you're seeing this because uh but I'm glad I'm glad this, this I don't like this content but huh. but I do see the value in the content because for the for the people that don't think about it like intellectually who are just watching it just cuz they like to see drama right this is going to give them what they get but to people who think about the bigger picture of things this type of content allows you to understand. So when I hear all of the homies in 2G1A complain about the dating game, I, I at some points I'm like, I don't get what y'all complaining about. It's simple. But when I watch this, this is just the people who got picked to be on TV. Meaning that on a spectrum, people could be either worse or better, right? But this is a general picture. And to hear that how flip floppy and hypocritical and back and forth. And this is only the women's doing it right. Lord knows what happens when the men are doing it. But because men ain't excluded. Oh, yeah. yeah, Nobody's excluded. Nobody's excluded. excluded. I'm talking about the dating game in whole. Right. Right. I get why people say, oh, you lucky you got out the dating game when you did. Because. In 2004 and all that, I imagine this was still happening, but not at this level. No, I don't. Need, I don't think this was happening at all in 2004. There's, there's no way, bro. There's no way, no way. Mm-mm. But now, as social media and people's nobody's opinion is their own opinion no more. Yeah, you're tired. You look tired. Okay, so what happens when he takes a nap and he good to go? Is that still that's a deal breaker just, for you? But that's like that's uh, mm. the film like like Big Smokey and like what which Chris, character like an extra an extra on Friday yeah I was like that's how I'm looking <laughs> yeah uh, she trying to go viral that's why that's no I'm not I'm not trying to go viral yeah, I'm just extra like on Friday. I I think I'm fed up because like every guy pretty much that came out, they're not dressed properly. And I'm like, I feel like this is really rude and disrespectful. And I'm just like, what, what's the point? So I'm just, it's not, I'm not trying to go viral whatsoever. I mean, yeah. You came. Well, she was good. I'm not saying that, but for you to speak about how the men dressed, Mm -hmm. but then look at all the women in there everybody is not dressed in the same get up one girl's wearing a onesie yeah one girl's wearing a dress 
Mm-hmm. One girl's wearing jeans. Mm-hmm. One girl's wearing a a, a mini skirt. Mm-hmm. One girl's wearing um one girl's just wearing some freaking pants. Well, the one one of the girls that actually got selected and got out was just wearing a basic little blouse mm-hmm. with some jeans mm-hmm. and some sneakers. No, I think she she had heels on. Oh, and some heels. Mm-hmm. She's the only one, and the girl with the uh, with the little white and well, not nah, nah. She's the only one that's like basically business. She's dressed as business. Mm-hmm. Everybody else is ranging from casual to Out, no, outwear, outerwear, something, something right? Like that. At the end of the day, we're not walking. This is not. This is not the stock market or nothing like that. I'm not walking into Procter and Gamble's management or something like that, right? Don't mention them. <laughs> but I'm not. Wa- this is not. This is not Apple. Yeah. I'm here to talk to people on a date. If you wanted to find a man who is like suavecito, tuxedo, probably in the mob for some reason because he 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 only wears tuxedos with the red flower. Like, if you wanted that, why would you come on a, a YouTube show for it? You know what I'm saying? I don't think it necessarily matters whether it's a YouTube show or The Bachelor. It's more of um, she has a certain standard and expectation, and she feels as though the other male contestants that have came out have not met her standards of her or her stature of how a man should come and approach a woman that he is not necessarily trying to court, but trying to get to know and date. And for her, it seems like first impression is everything. And if you're, if you're not coming, uh, dressed up from a to Z and you're coming, looking like a through G it's kind of like, uh, it's a turnoff for her, Yeah, which uh, I understand. I get it. But at the end of the day, like, I don't think any of the men that came out came out in ugly attire. Like, there's different. You can tell there's different different levels of fashion. There's different levels of fashion. So to say, like, oh, because you're not in a button down suit with some Stacey Adams on and you got the Rolex blinging. With the crop. uh, Like, you you just look tired and lazy. uh. Yeah, it's like, uh, okay, whatever. I'm not. Well, how you want your man to dress? How presentable, respectful. It's not presentable. Well, presentable to you. Presentable. I mean, maybe a collared shirt and slacks or something. It has a collar. No, it's a, that's. A, I think that's a sweater. But even still, um, that's a button it, up. His. He's just wearing it open. That looks like a sweater. No, that's a button up. Thing dress shoe. We'll see what we go. Um, maybe like the lip not hanging. <laughs> Huh? No, what? <laughs> yeah, that's a button up. He's wearing a button up. He just has it open. It looks like a it looks like a jacket to me because it looks thicker than a button up. I could be wrong, but either way, like it's giving it's giving like he could go to church in that outfit and be fine. Yeah, he could, but it's giving it's giving um like very like clean streetwear because he got the he got the uh the Nikes on. Black pants, very nice black, like cargo looking pants. He has a button down and he has a un- you dress like that. I like that look. Yeah, I like that look too. The thing women don't get when when dudes gotta wear all the three piece, the three piece suit with the uh with the with the white undershirt, the the vest, the jacket with the it's freaking, uncomfortable the sometimes. girdle, like all that. It's I'm gonna keep it the back. It's hot, bro. Yeah. Like you know, nobody wanna do no, all that. Bro. But but in in not her defense, but all these women came in. Most of these women came in heels. They, 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 they're uncomfortable standing in them heels. And yeah, but just because you want to be uncomfortable, don't put that on the standard. It's one thing. Practice. It's one thing to wear heels. Have you ever worn male dress shoes? No, they're not comfortable. Neither are heels. Exactly. So I'm coming here to talk to women. If I were to came in a suit and some dress shoes and all that. And saw people wearing jeans and t-shirts. Yeah, nobody here got think, that got the wrong type of fit. I think they all look good. Now, if you would have came in like a t-shirt and some sweats and some slides, there we go. You, yeah, you 
You better turn back around and go it's get those shoes out your car. You said his his lip is hanging. Like, I can't rude. do it. That's rude. I hope it was hanging like, like I don't know how to do That's it. Rude. That's rude. But. That's rude. I was gonna let you have it, but, but I'll let you live. Ah, okay. Yeah. Okay. It's cool. Yeah. So so Bo, is she your type? No. I'm not even trying to be petty. I don't mind. I'm not even petty. You know, you're very pretty, like, she's pretty, but nah, nah. And why not? Ah, too scary. Mm. Mm. I better be a model. But then again, anybody can be a model. But You're right. That's uh, right. Is that a dig? Mm -hmm. He's an actor, though. Okay. <laughs> is that a what, dig? What is, what is a higher value, an actor or a model? A higher value? Like, who, who was the higher prestige, like, a status, right? Just like how, like, security, and then there's, like, a, a cop right mm -hmm. security is like you're just okay but a cop like you're you're up there right so mm -hmm. um it's all entertainment right yes. so what would be a higher status a model or an actor an actor because it's more of it's more demanding for when an actor has to get these roles they have to either gain weight or lose weight and maintain it but okay. a model you just have to lose weight and maintain it but when she said everybody can be a model i feel like that was a dig because he's a model not he's, a, he's an actor and model okay but even still like okay well that's fine like but, why you why you gotta do all that but he says she's skinny she's like well every, anybody can be a model just kidding <laughs> all right so bo we do still have i was gonna be petty i was gonna do that <laughs> no no <laughs> So we do still have five balloons unpopped. Uh -huh. So oh, you broke. Let me. Can I have your toothpick? Thank you. Let's switch it on over to you. So did you have a question that you wanted to ask these ladies to help narrow it down? How many kids, or do any of you guys have kids? All right. Let's. Oh, okay. So they rose their hands. Two of them got kids. And how many? I have three, and two are adult children. So yes. Let's hold on. I have one, he's four, and I don't plan on having any more. <laughs> okay. He gonna pop. I'm sorry. Oh. Because All right, and why did we end up popping her balloon? Uh, I mean, she got adult children. Mm. And he said, how many? I have three children, two are adults, yes. Two, yeah. Yes, I already I started good. over, I have an 11 year old. I ain't starting over no more, so no. <laughs> I don't want to take that away from you. If you don't have any children, I am the wrong one. No. Nah. Not anytime soon either. Okay. Yeah. And now, why did you keep your balloon unpopped for Bo? I was just being optimistic, honestly. Mm. He's a nice, well put together young man. But he was young. I was going to pop my balloon. But he, I mean, he's very articulate, so. Appreciate that it. Help me keep yeah, it. I don't look like Friday, do I? No, you don't. No, you have a nice smile. You have a nice smile. You're very articulate, so mm -hmm. yes. Appreciate it. All right, cool. I'm just a thundercat, so I might not be your type. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Bo. And so now we still do have four balloons unpopped. Yeah. So now our next pop that we're going to have you do is going to be strictly off of looks. Is there one that you want to go ahead and pop their balloon based off of just what you're seeing so far? I feel like he's going to pop old girl in front. I have one more question. Go for it. What is, what is you guys' age? Okay. 26. 26. 26. Let's see. No, we got to use the mic. <laughs> I passed you. Yeah. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Hi, my name is Linda. I'm 26, and I do got two kids. Yes. You didn't even say, look at that. She, you skipped over. Yeah. <laughs> did she raise her hand, though? Like, she did. Oh, okay. How okay. old your kids? Five and four. Mm. And she has oh. a four year old. Yep. Yeah, mm -hmm. I have a four year old. And, she's and I'm 31. 31. What is it? I'm 23. So, how many ladies do we oh, have left? I won't skip you this right? time. We got one, oh, two, no, bro, three, three ladies ready. left. So, mm. what's. I'm gonna go ahead and ask a question for you then. Okay. okay? Yeah. So, what is your best quality about yourself? Personality, for sure. Um, anytime I walk into a room, Why I just you lie? It up. I talk to everybody. I want to get to know everybody, and like I said, I'm just an open book, so I like to have fun. <laughs> right, nice. 
Why does she just lie like that? Um, I would definitely say my personality. I'm very communicative and very. Yeah, everybody's personality is just a one now. That's the huh? deal, hey, amen. Um, I would definitely say I'm a creative. Um, I know how to do a lot of things. Um, my personality. I'm a people person. Um, that's it right now. You're just giving generic lies. He can pop my balloon. He already wants to. <laughs> you feel like popping her balloon? Go ahead. Oh, you just volunteers. <laughs> <laughs> but okay, so why'd you end up popping her balloon? Uh, I was not gonna pop it, but you know. You was, cause you was about to pop it when you was when you was about to pop hers. No, no, I was not gonna pop it. it was, uh, I don't know, y'all put me in spot, but uh, and you see, you got two kids too. No, I have one. One kid. Yeah. Yeah. You got kids? No, I don't got kids. You want kids? Of course. Oh, okay. Yeah. Why you why you say it like that? Cause I'm not gonna say I don't. I mean, I don't want no more kids. But if the right person come along, then I'll give them kids. But that's not what the I'm answer y'all was giving earlier. <laughs> I'm not having no more. I appreciate your honesty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. I, want, I do want kids in the future. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. And then, so why did you keep your balloon unpopped for Bo? Cause Bo fine. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that. Yeah. It's it's the dark. It's the dark skin for oh, me. Sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry I had to pop you up. Hey, dark boys is winning. Sorry I had to pop you up balloons, but probably a different situation. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. All right. Thank you. Okay, Bo. We've got two ladies left. So based off of the information you've been hearing, do you ladies have any questions Ooh, you want to ask voice him? Was that? Oh, oh, <laughs> all right. We got a question. First things first, do you come from a two-parent household? Yes. Love that. Second question, do you have a... <sighs> We wouldn't want to. We wouldn't want a man with daddy issues, right? Or mommy issues, because that would be too much. <laughs> Just you know, it that question right there goes all the way back to what the Chicago dude said, where he said, "Oh, you just don't like the environment that you grew up in, and you don't like you don't like you don't like the your people and where you came from, right?" Because what? He's a grown man. And he's an actor and a model. Well, that don't mean that they won't have issues as far as, you know, well, be, being raised in a separate or two parent household or whatever. That shouldn't be the end all be all like, oh, well, he ain't grown. Did you have two parents? No. Did I have two parents? Well, I technically did. I did. I had my mom and I had God. I just didn't know it yet. Okay, okay, that's okay. No, that's fair. I didn't have two parents. You ain't had two parents. Mm -hmm. Do you think that we have been very successful in our life? Yeah, but... No, I'm just asking. We, yeah. Do you feel like we have turned out to be genuinely decent human beings? Yeah. So what does it matter? I understand the benefits of being raised with, with both parents. Mm -hmm. But don't disqualify a person because he can't control what his parents did. Sure can't. And also, people that are fortunate enough to be raised in a two-parent household, sometimes being raised in a two-parent household, uh, more they, they, they end up experiencing some pretty... Messed up, messed up things. Yeah, I say, I say, growing up, too. growing up in a one parent household, the only thing that I think I suffered in was, um, you were the only boy. I was the only boy. Yeah, but I think it's the fact that my mom, my mom, had to put in so much work. Mm -hmm. Uh, no, no child wants to see their mother like on twenty four seven grind. No, yeah, I, I agree. I agree. But I can say being raised in a single parent household, um, it makes me have a lot more appreciation and gratitude, not even just towards my mom, but towards anybody that's a single parent. That's a the, fact. The fathers be out there hustling. The mothers be out there hustling. It's a it's a certain level of appreciation and gratitude that you'll have for somebody when you see somebody happen to you know, go beyond their means. And it's like, it makes you think, um, 
would I change? Would I go back in time and change it that I would have two parents? No, no. I wouldn't. Because I think the reason why um, my faith and my moral compass is what it is, is because I didn't have a duality of people teaching me. It was my mom taught me a certain way and that was the way that stuck. And that was the only way versus if I compare it, my, how my mom is as a person and how my father is as a person. Um, if I, if my father would have been in my life, I'd probably be a hood dude, like hundred percent. I, I wouldn't change it in the aspect of, um, how I was raised. I would change it more. So I wish my mom could have had the opportunity to rest more, not have to have worked so hard as much as she did. She did real estate. She did um nursing she did she worked for big corporations my mom has always had successful careers and she's always worked very very hard and she's had prestigious positions and stuff like that in life but um the burden it the toll of raising two kids and having to do it on your own and then to um i feel like had my mom or had like had i been raised in a two parent household my mom could have been more she could have experienced a softer life as a woman. Right. Like right. No, it makes it makes women really hard and stern mm-hmm. and somewhat masculine when they, they have, have to, to fill be that mom role. and dad. Right. And the same thing with men, you know? Yeah. No, that's a fact. That's a fact. Hey, uh, what's your nine to five again? I'm a model nag, but I work at the hospital. You work at the hospital? Yeah. Okay, so you do have a regular 9 to 5, not just taste dreams. Okay. And then last but not least, um, do you have your own spot or do you stay with your parents? No, I have my own spot. Oh, that's love. Okay, moving on. Mm-hmm. She asked for one question. Yeah. So do you mind a woman with kids? You said you have one or two? Two. You got baby daddy problems? No. No, nah, that's not a problem. What is your relationship with God? Okay. I'm Muslim. Okay. And what is your relationship with your family? It's good. We got a big family. So yeah. All right, Bo. The question has, was worth <clears throat> asking. What are you going with? Oh. Yeah. Dang. Oh. Okay. The time you step on up. I'll- well, I see. I see why. Not. Not. Not because I think she's the better person. I think she's a horrible. Well, I, I'm, I'm not. Boy, <laughs> forgive me. I don't think she's a horrible. Person. I, I think her personality she's is just a piece a, of work. It's a I piece of work. Um, out of the two, you gotta take. You gotta think about it longevity wise. Younger with no kids, mm. meaning that you can start your legacy and you can get more out of her versus older and already has her own. You're gonna have to raise another man's legacy alongside if she wants to give you your legacy and he wants kids plus he's muslim so his 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 religion they're gonna push towards him not uh going with the woman that already has kids right it's uh what is it called haram no no no, it's not haram um it's just it's just culturally like i don't want to speak for islam because we're not islamic but i from what i've noticed is um islam is very like pushed towards like a family, the mm-hmm. like a big family type of thing. Mm-hmm. All all the Muslims I've met, especially being out in Cali, I've noticed that they've always had their father, they've always had their mother, and then they've always had a whole bunch of siblings. Mm-hmm. And then ev- everything they do, they don't do for themselves. They do for the family. Yeah. So I I can see why this would be the perfect scenario. She's young. I can give a lot of get a lot of kids, um, and she doesn't have no additional strings attached. That's if she's even worthy to court. It, yeah, if she's even worthy. Yeah. All right. So, was there any final question you wanted to ask him before you say yes or yes? Mm-hmm. Do you work out at all? Yeah, I'm in the gym every day. Thank goodness. Me too. <laughs> I'm in the gym. <laughs> Thank goodness. Yay. Yeah. yeah, I'm good. I'm happy. All right. Bo. You yes. Good? Yeah, I'm good. Okay, so yes for you? Yeah. Yes for you? She's so happy. Yeah, we got a match. Let me go ahead and take the mic. 
<laughs> All right, thank you both for coming on. Go ahead. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and bring out our next single guy. There's another one? Dang. I think it's, how many minutes? It's, this might be the last guy. Hello, hello. Welcome in. Okay. What's your name? <laughs> How's it going? Marquise is my name. Nice to meet you guys. Pleasure to be here. <laughs> nice yes, to have sir. you. Well, how old are you, Marquise? 27. Go ahead. go ahead. That's the big homie. Let's go. He big boys like is up. Jaleel. He do look like Jaleel. That's <laughs> funny. Hey, shout out to Jaleel, bro. You Love know what? Him. You, this, she, finish the video. She I'm already cringing, I'm bro. That's 27. See? Okay. And what do you do? I'm an armed security guard. I have my own personal business. Uh, I do pre personal protection. I've been doing it for about two and a half years now. Okay. okay. That's a, so he's a, he a big Marcus, dude. What do you look for in a woman? Somebody who's bubbly, likes to have fun, enjoy things, enjoy themselves. Uh, not too, not too pretty. Somebody who's down to earth. Mm -hmm. Down to earth. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so we did get, get um, a couple of your moon mouth. pops. Let's mm -hmm. go ahead and get on over to them, get a little That's bit the more big why they popped, okay? Sounds good. All right, let's start right on over here. We can have your name and why you ended up popping your balloon. Yes, my name is Lovely, and the reason why I popped my balloon is because of your eye contact. Mm -hmm. You look at everywhere else but at the ladies, you know. Mm -hmm. I like them. You've had, you know, it's... <laughs> You, this this lady had a dude literally tell her her boobs sit up nice and perky and was fine with that. But the dude is not trying to force eye contact on everybody in the room, which I agree. I'm not going to, if I just met you, I'm not making eye contact with you just because I know me as a person. I'm a big dude and I'm a tall dude. And every interaction I've had where I've made eye contact with people, people act like I'm about to rip their face off. And it's like, it's not, it's not funny. I, am I telling the truth though? What is yeah, that? Every time people will come up to me like, is your husband okay? He looks mad today. I'm like, <laughs> and you know, it's crazy. You think that looks, you think he looks mad? He's like, yeah, they're like, yeah, he's not even saying nothing. He, he, he doesn't talk. That that associates with mad, and I I, I don't I think say, yeah he's mad. Mm -hmm. You've been telling people I've been mad, no, I don't <laughs> <think so. laughs> I'm but saying. being sarcastic, I'll be like yeah he's mad. And I'm like no, and he's the, not the mad, sad bro. part is is I'm not mad. This is my face. <laughs> I, I can't like I can't control my face. Like I just I, I if anything if when people come up to talk to me, I'd be, I'd be happy to talk. Like, hey, man, like, how you doing, man? Like, I'll give you some wisdom. I, hey, bro, God is good, bro. Like, it's... All the time. But my whole life, I've had that, which is like, even even when you said like, oh, you didn't talk to me in high school because it's like, oh, it's like, oh, I thought you were a mean jock. And it's like, no, if anything, I, I think I'm more of a goofball than anything. No, I didn't think you were mean, but I did think you were like a... Uh, uh, the a douche. jock, like somebody that would bag on people and stuff. So a douche, you thought I was a douche? That's right. I wouldn't use that word, but yeah, douche is not a. Uh, it's not a. Uh... It sounds like an insult. Cause you know, you do know what a douche is. Yeah, I know what a. I'm the only boy. Oh. Of course, I know what a douche is. <laughs> of course, I do. Yeah. Stop! Stop making people. Stop saying people look mean. It hurts feelings. I'm a nice person, and he looked like he's a fun, amazing dude. And if I met him, he'd probably be cool to hang out with. What of my mother? The man Shut that can actually look <laughs> eye to eye when he's having a conversation. So he that's fine. Cool. I respect that. Yes. He probably do. Actually, when I came in, I looked around at all of you. I made contact with all of you. You probably looked down when I looked at you. You don't know. But when she was having a direct conversation with you, you could not have eye contact, and that's very important to me. Okay. When someone's asking you a serious question. You need to be looking eye to eye. Yeah, this, I respect that. Okay, it's not your cool. child, bro. <laughs> How's he doing child? now? It's not your child. Oh, now he's uh, full attention. Yes, <laughs> yes. I think he was a little nervous at first. Yes. Okay. Hey, you gotta have a little nerves. No matter how. Look, chewing the gum for me. You know, you could have spit yeah, the gum. Yeah, you out. gotta get rid of the gum, bro. Yes. You gotta get rid of the gum. Yeah. It's distracting. Yes. Look at my eyes, not my mouth, baby. <laughs> I was looking. Got him. Got him. <laughs> Got him. He won. Big boys is up. Our stocks is going through the roof. <laughs> Big
big boys have never been higher. Like we we at two hundred percent right now. The stocks is good. Get big boys, man. We we in there. We up. Big boys is through the we through the roof right now. You like to chew gum, big boy? <laughs> Get it out. Get it out of your mouth. Big boys is through the roof. Looking at both, and that's why I was able to uh, see the difference of you not looking eye to eye, and then you chewing. I was paying attention. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. I respect that. No problem. Yes. <laughs> but you're very handsome. Don't get me wrong. You're very handsome. The chewing is Appreciate distracting, you. though. Look at his eyes, not his now mouth. Lovely. I'm not looking at his eyes. I mean, his mouth. She look good. Don't know. I don't know now. She popped the balloon. <laughs> Come, oh. Okay. All right. It's let's go right. ahead and go. It's all right. Thank You'll you. be all right. <laughs> let's go on down over here. Yes. Yes. And if we can have your name and why you popped your balloon. Haley. And I popped my balloon because he just wasn't my type. Okay, and what makes him not your type? Um, I'm a dark skinned girl. I like dark men. That's, That's respectable. Everybody got their types. Is he light skinned? He's brown. He ain't he ain't her color, the girl in the pink, but he's more of um, I think I'm dark skinned. No. No? No, you're you're like a you're you're like a deep brown. I need yeah, to see. You're what, like a, you're I need to know what what it, what it, what's the difference between a light skin and a dark skin? Because oh. <laughs> I don't understand it when people say skin black man versus dark skin black man. I can't spell. What is the difference? Because I'm I've never understood. <laughs> 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 okay, so where am I at? Okay, so you're like in between here. These okay, two. so so I am dark skinned then. No, that's not that dark. There's only two shades after. That's dark skinned. There's only two shades after. Uh, that's dark. I feel like that's brown. Yeah, so dark skin. I guess. I I don't. This I'm is not, West. We're not talking about him. <laughs> I I'm not into the whole colors. Thing. This is not a dark skinned man. No, he looks brown. I don't know, bro. I don't. He looks brown. Can we get a middle tier? Can just I just be look at brown skinned men? Look, look it up. Yeah, like that color. That's brown. I don't, I don't know, bro. They need. They we need to kind of wait a minute. Go. Oh, never mind. I'm not about to open that. I'm about right. to say, why is the what? Why y'all take pictures like this? That's the that's the angle. Why? That's the angle. I appreciate you saying it like that too. No worries. Yeah. All right, and I was Haley your type. More of a lighter complexion type guy. Mm. Okay. Okay. So just the skin color. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm. And apart from that, anything else? She's gorgeous, regardless. Mm. Thank you. I respect how you said it though. Perfect. And Stop I can your pick. thank you very much. So we still do have a few ladies that have not popped their balloon yet. Mm -hmm. So we're going to actually switch the roll on over to you. So first one we're going to pop is going to be based off of what you're seeing. Mm -hmm. Out of these four ladies left, whose balloon are you going to pop? Which one are you not feeling so far? This big one? Just one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Go ahead. All right. And why did... Oh. All right, over here. Oh, oh. oh. oh okay. <laughs> All right, y'all. It's been a good video, bro. I just, it's been fun. I thank y'all for, tu for tuning in. It's been a vibe. Uh, two for two. It's been, it's just... Two is always better than one. You know, God is good, it right? It takes two. You know, God is truly good, right? He just it been... takes two to tango. Pick two for three. Make pick two for three. Make chicken. Make double. For three. Mm-hmm. You know what's crazy? Two he said, down. he said, 
Right. Right. We did too. All right, cool. Let's start over here then. So why did you end up popping your balloon for her? As I said prior, more of a lightest complexion type person. Mm -hmm. You popped the lightest chick in there. You are gorgeous. No, she's not. Probably not my type though. Yeah, I understand. Oh yeah, you did. So I was going to pop mine, but I wanted to collect more data on you. Mm -hmm. I feel like, again, like looks very tired and like the, your time piece is, doesn't work. It's like there for decoration. Mm -hmm. And then... You know um, what type of watch this is, though? It doesn't matter. It doesn't work. Okay. It and sounds then, good. And then the popping the gum, it just seems like, eh. I just rolled out of bed, put the sweatshirt on, and <laughs> where the lady's at. Hey, I appreciate how you said that. It's no worries, love. I know. Thank you. Appreciate you, though. That's right. Thank you. He got that fit on, though. And so does your watch work? I mean, she said it's... It does work. But right now? It's not, no. It's not on, no. Okay. I need a new battery. So, so cool. it doesn't work. Okay. All right. <laughs> and let's go on over here because mm -hmm. you did end up popping this balloon here. And why'd you end up popping her balloon? Um, to be honest, I like somebody a little taller. She's a little shorter in from me. You are gorgeous. But I just like somebody with a little more height. Mm. You're not even that tall. I'm oh! He can shot back! He's taller than the other dude. He's the tallest dude. He's the tallest dude. He's the tallest dude. Pinky been quiet this whole time. He's the tallest dude. She's offended. He's the tallest dude. She's offended. He's the tallest dude. She's offended. I don't give a dang. You're not even that tall. But you was just trying to get other boy who was shorter than him. You're four foot eight. We don't know how tall she I'll is. I'll fight. I'll fight her. No. She got to get hit. No. Because it's just, it's just. No. You don't have the right. She has every right. God give us free will. And don't this is, do this that. Is the will don't that, do that. This is the don't will. Do that. It's all good though. This is the will that people want to um, now, is he partake your in. type? No. Oh, okay. And you did have your balloon unpopped before. Why didn't you um, pop your balloon for him? Just the same, like how she said, like, more data to see. Like, you know, I'm not trying to pop it, like, right away, like, judge off the back of it. Mm -hmm. But my type is taller, darker men. Okay. Okay. It's all good. I respect that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. Thank you. <laughs> and I think, yep, we did get one on over here. She's the only one that's we been trying to We can have your name and why you ended up popping your balloon. Hi, my name is Linda. I popped my balloon because you kept on telling the other ladies they were not the type of complexion mm -hmm. that you're looking for and I'm a dark skinned woman myself um, I'm chocolate so and on top of that it, it, yeah it's just not my type yeah appreciate that no worries love it's okay and <laughs> what makes him not your type um I don't he's just giving very like uncle vibes oh. and uh, I have somebody uncle <laughs> yeah and he keeps I got the perfect shirt for this video. Hey, big auntie. <laughs> Just auntie is fine. Uncle Vibes. Just take the big off. If anything, he gives me the impression that he's like a college student. Yeah. I don't get no Uncle Vibes. I get a, he's he's the class clown yeah. in every college class. Yeah. He the one that when the teacher finally catch y'all for laughing too much, he the main one that be sitting there trying to. He look like a Jabari. Yeah. Keeps on popping the gum. Like. No, it's a no for me. Sorry, but a lot of people pop gum when they're nervous, so I get it. But kind-hearted person, yeah. Oh yeah, I am. And it's all good. Appreciate you. Yeah, yeah. And I know she said she's chocolate, and you like mm -hmm. a lighter complexion. So still gonna ask though, is she your type in any way? She is. She's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. She is a person that I would actually talk to, mm -hmm. but she popped her balloon. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you. So we still do have one balloon. But remember, she don't, like, she don't like tall men, remember? And you can give yeah. us your name and why you haven't popped your balloon yet. Um, My name is Rhea, and I haven't popped my balloon yet because um, I just 
so far I haven't heard anything that would be a disqualifier for me. Um, I you said like you don't like tall men. More to see if that is something that I would be interested in, but I am open. Um, he's definitely my complexion. I like his hair. I like his style. I don't really I care that his watch don't work because my watch don't work. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I ain't got no battery in it. Um, I'm not really like that superficial. Um, not to say anything about anybody no, that's fair. else. Um, Did I you like see her flashy oh, I can't see the mic like blocking the next it. person, but no, I, I hope, really she, I hope it, it practically works. Mm. Um, I just like the look of it. So she, you match my swag so far. <laughs> uh, so um, yeah, I haven't heard anything really that makes me want to pop my balloon yet. Okay, let's go ahead and bring you on out here. She's been the only one who actually deserved <laughs> okay, to be with somebody. Okay, so I just have one final question for the both of you. Is mm. it going to be a yes for you, for him? Yeah, it's a yes for me. All right, and same for you. Is it a yes for you? I didn't you? pop her balloon. She's still here, so it's a yes for me. Hey, we got another match. I'll go ahead and pop Let's give it up for them, guys. See, and the rest of y'all, y'all don't, y'all don't got nobody. You see what I'm saying? Let's go ahead and bring out our next oh, single man. man. <gasps> oh, right on. Oh, you gonna do a walk for us? I will. I'll go ahead. Okay. How you doing? Come on over here. <laughs> nice to meet you. What's your name? I am so sorry. It's okay. My name is Cinco, but my first name is Dejian. Dejian, nice okay. To meet you guys. And how old are you, Dejian? Hey, Twenty eight years old. Twenty eight, okay. And do you prefer to go by Cinco or Dejian? I prefer to go by Cinco right Cinco? now, yeah. Okay, all right. And what do you do? Shoot, I'm an A&R. That's uh, basically a music scout. I look for young talent out here in the state and on the West Valley. Mm -hmm. um, I also do property specialist work, so I show different properties to different real estate agents and potential buyers. And then on top of that, I'm a professional model. I do the runway, editorial, magazines, and commercials. Just did one today for Food Network, actually. Uh, Very nice. Okay, yeah, and what do you look for in a woman? I look for a uh, genuine, you know, uh, capability you know somebody that actually knows exactly their goals a five-year goal um, has the basic material things you know a home a place um, right now I have no children so I'm looking for women that maybe have only one um, I do think I have a, the cap capability to go ahead and establish our responsibility and take over you know a child right now and then um, somebody also can speak on my behalf you know talk to professionals for me if they need to right. handle my business okay all right, so we did get some balloons popped here. That's fine. Let's go ahead and go to some of these ladies. This is why they end up popping their balloons. Okay? okay. All right, let's go ahead and start right here. If we can have your name and why you popped your balloon. Yes, uh, my name is Lovely, and I popped my balloon because um, I know age is nothing but a number for me. But I mean, you're just giving me like really like I'm too old for you <laughs> type of vibe. <laughs> like I'm a thundercat. Kind of look old. like it too. One out in the scene, Dang. so yeah. Oh. <laughs> All right, and now is Lovely your type? No, I would agree. She looks a little too old for me as well, too. Yes. Mm. Okay, okay. All right, cool. Thank you. I can respect that, yeah. <laughs> All right, and let's go on over to our next girl actually here. Actually your name you and old. why you ended up popping. Hi, my name is Linda. I popped my balloon. First and foremost, I'm a mother of two, so that's already on your list. You're looking for somebody with one kid. I don't got that. Um, and I just feel like you're giving me pretty boy vibes, and that's not my type. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. And when you say pretty boy vibes, like, would you elaborate a little more? I feel like he needs more maintenance than I would need maintenance on myself. Mm. What? And I want like a man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. okay. He's a model, but okay. Do you mind what she's saying? Do you feel like you're a pretty boy? Uh, I think I keep up with my hygiene and my looks, and I take that very serious. Um, I come from a well-respected home with a mother and a child. I mean, a mother and a father. Um, so keeping up with my looks is something that's normal to me. But pretty boy in that personality, as far as saying maybe sassy, maybe want to say. Yeah, a little. That's boy. not me at all. So. Unfortunately, you probably won't get to know about my business and what I really do. So, it's okay. I like your hair and I like I your you're look. You're very handsome. You're very beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. All right, thank you. Let's go on over here. Your name and why you ended up popping. My name's Adonna, and the first thing I thought was like, I don't know if you're like high, because your eyes are like they look like you're not there. Mm -hmm. Are you on? I'm actually fully here. Your eyes are red too. So, 
kind of a similar thing. Are here. you on something right now or no? No, I okay. don't do any type so of drugs. Or I wasn't sure because they look like they're really red. So that's one reason. And then as I heard you speak more, it sounded like you're looking for someone to build you up. Like you want someone to speak on your behalf. I'm like an attorney or a like wife, a, like bozo. What kind of representative? Who speak to who? <laughs> on about what? So I was, conf- it's like I was confused. Mm-hmm. And then um, I'll just leave it at that. So that, that's that was it. And now is Adana your type? Adana actually is. I really like mm-hmm. you know her hair. I like her style. I like that color on her. Yeah, um, right. I think if she got to know me maybe a little bit more, she would like me. I like the way she talks, her sophistication. I think she would be somebody that probably could be my A, 1A, if I were to run my business and include her in it. And, um, and which, which way for the business? As far as somebody as a CEO just like me, so you can take over my same businesses, vice versa, represent those things, you know, respectability to other people. So say if we're talking about my modeling career, you can speak on my behalf, you know, help me with things like agency. Would be your business. agent? No. Like just what be the, my partner. what's the cut? If be my partner. A partner. Wait, okay, so you'll be the model and then I would help build your portfolio? No. We will be a business unit. You will learn me and what I do and how to just do that on my behalf and I will learn the same to you. Yeah. I get a cut. Absolutely. Okay, so what are you doing right now, like as far as your portfolio? Right now, I'm an A&R. I'm scouting for young talent right now to sign to new record labels. Mm-hmm. That's going to be next 10 years. Some of the biggest artists you probably don't know about yet. I do professional mm-hmm. model work. I do commercials. I do act. I'm in New York Fashion Week upcoming this 2024 20, year. Same. Okay. okay. So do you have any artists that... Yes. Do you have a studio? Yes. Where is it? It's over in the Buckeye area, Buckeye, Arizona. Is it elaborate? Yes. It's called Evolve Music engine? Group, LLC. That's okay. my name. I'm Cinco the Wolf. You have an engineer and all that? Yes. I hire people. I employ people. Don't get in. Don't, see, you know what's so crazy, bro? You popped on him because you thought you was finna be, he needed you to build him. That's why she popped. Cause he's she, already built. And then now you're hearing he's actually already built. And he just, he don't want somebody to do stuff for him. He needs somebody to be just like how if I went viral and I blew up off of this, right? And I had a million, a million subs, and I was making let's say I was aging zero, right? For AMP. If I was at that status, I would want you to know every ins and out of what I do. So that if you ever there ever comes to a situation where somebody comes up to me and they're like, hey, um, we got this thing for kites that he needs to do, but um, he's not here right now. Does anybody know what kites would want? My wife right here. The adversary. So my wife right here. So my wife, who who knows me better than my wife? Mm-hmm. I would expect when I finally come to whatever I'm at, I'm like, oh, hey, babe, I'm sorry. Such and such happened. Um, How's, how's the little project going? And you go, yeah, I told them to do this, 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 this. But, oh, yeah, I would have said the same thing. Because that's how partnership goes. And he is in the same field you are, but he's more successful than you. But you didn't want to, you didn't want And then you're asking him, do I get a cut? Do I get a cut? Do I, bro, stay single, bro. You don't deserve nobody. Stay single. Just stay single, bro. Where are you getting the funds from? I'm 28 years old. Mm-hmm. Before this, I was one of the youngest account managers with a company called CenturyLink. They're called mm-hmm. Lumen now. Yeah. I made about $250,000 there on my own just from the contracts that I signed around the state. So you may move into an apartment and they have internet already established yeah. there. About three years ago, I established that before that place was even built. Mm-hmm. None of these women deserve that. None, None. of them. None. N- all this before he's even 30. None of these women deserve that. I suggest that you get out of uh where are they at? Arizona. Arizona. Don't don't shop your state. Don't this shop dude, your state. This dude is all five of these dudes have been upper echelon men. Mm-hmm. They all are entrepreneurs. They're all well put together. They mm-hmm. all have their own thing. 
and their heads on the straight. These are these are the top percentage of men, of black men. They just don't look. They're they don't look what they don't look like what the what their ideal of the top percent. They think a uh, top percent is. I don't know what P Diddy look like. I don't know. Okay, and how many years ago was this? I'm 28 now, so this is about five years ago. Life costs money, so okay, I'm thinking about 200 grand five years ago, and then did you invest that, or did you just put it into your other businesses? Yeah, five years ago, I invested it into my music career, I invested mm -hmm. in my modeling career. I do my own thing now. I wake up when I want to, and I do my own thing. That That's why I'm dangerous. able to be. Well, it's wake fun. Wake up when you want to at it's this fun. age. I live a life. People know me. It's called Every Day is Friday. Yeah. That's how I live. Okay, so when you made that 200K, did you get any gro like revenue growth when you put it into your other business like modeling? and? That 200K wasn't just all I made. That was just from one entity. I have several different streams of income. Okay. Yeah. That was just CenturyLink. That was I was establishing at 23 there. Too much to get ability. To where I'm at today to talk to you right now. That's not how it works. Okay. Go ahead. Oh, next. <laughs> that next. got you to where you're at now to talk to me? Yeah. I mean, oh, I'm, like the curiosity. I'm, yeah. I'm a businesswoman, but I okay, tell. well, I used, <laughs> I'm just like, hmm. That's uh, why you're my type. That's why I said you're my type. I can tell. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> oh, we're, okay. I forgot we're still okay, we're here. <laughs> she might be a little oh, flustered. No, no, no. I flustered her a little bit. I'm sorry. No, I'm just like, I'm a little talk, but I'm, something's not adding up. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. I don't know. <laughs> I'll get the balloon back and I'll think. Let me let, me, oh. let my mind. Go. I would say I don't want you, bro. Cause it's like you can crunch the numbers real quick. <laughs> Not crunch the numbers. All right, we'll be back with you then. <laughs> All right, if we can have your name and why you popped. Haley and um, when he walked out, I was trying to figure out where he was going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, he, he gave us a model walk. He said he's a model. Yeah, I ain't know where he was going. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. And right. it, it's, it do give, like, I spent an hour in the bathroom. Mm. He spent two hours in the bathroom. Okay. But, I mean. He wearing a leather jacket. Hard. Okay. So just. He looks like he, yeah. he puts himself together. Like yeah. With no? I mean, I just like him a little. Not gonna spend all the time in the bathroom because I want it, and you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. I just, I like him like. Okay. Yeah. She want like <laughs> macho, like like we, grizzle. We just don't match. Mm. Yeah, we okay. just don't match. All That's right. it. And how are you feeling, Haley? She your type? Um, Haley's very beautiful. Um. As somebody that is very fashionable, I would agree and say maybe, you know, I probably could help you with your makeup at the end of the day. Mm. So, no, I, yeah, well, I don't think we do get along at all. I don't need help with my makeup. I already got me a, 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 a real good makeup artist. Yeah. <laughs> so you do makeup? She, she's sitting in the crowd right now. <laughs> I have the, I have we the can ability line them up. to. I just yeah. got the ability to. I know I do a lot of different things and different skills like that. You know, just of when, they, when, when, when they don't like what you say, they say something that you think you don't like, but you know, I'm already confident, so it don't matter. So on to the next. <laughs> okay. like. He did. I mean, I, mm. say what you gonna say. I'll sugarcoat it. He came off sassy. I don't think he came off sassy, in my opinion. But I could see how some of the women would be put off by it. Be put off by it. Because I mean he he looks really good. He looks very clean, crisp, you know. But he is a model. Mm -hmm. You you are your brand. Right. So no, it's like I I'm like, I don't know. Touche. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go right on over here. She popped the book. <laughs> Your name and why you popped. Okay, my name is Miriam, and honestly, it is the physical attraction. I'm just not attracted, so I kept it as that. You mean nothing wrong? Like, he has a good head on his shoulder. You mean mm -hmm. and like a bright career. I'm just not attracted. So okay, if it's not physical attraction, then you know what I mean. The relationship wouldn't work at all. Okay, 
Okay. And what about for you? For thank you for your. Um, opinion, I really you. like your hair. I think it's beautiful. Um, your skin complexion and your lips, like you take care of yourself. Um, but I agree. I think your fashion may be a little bit lower scale than me. I probably will, you know, outshine you at certain situations. And if we go your fashion? out, so I don't think you might be oh. comfortable in certain rooms that I'll bring you into mm. right now. So, yeah. I want to say. I could agree. I want to say your fashion is high. Wait a minute, Pinky. You can't be bad. He, he gave you a but compliment. You, I'm chilling today, but I keep it. Yeah, as that too. Yeah, I like it. It's like you put. Any, you know what? I'm not gonna say. It. Let's cut it. I'm not gonna no, speak it. It's like you put anything on. Like mm-hmm. first of all, you put anything on. We're not gonna talk about fashion when you put like the green and the shirt and the pants and the mohawk. It mohan. goes. Just, she, I she, appear, like she I said, tried. I'm not gonna be attracted. I'm just keep it as I keep it simple, keep it cute. Okay, okay. but you next. actually gotta be that. Okay, so I say it. it does look like everyone ended up popping their balloon. If you want to come back over here with me, <laughs> so thank you so much for coming on. Unfortunately, we weren't able to find you anyone today, but we do thank you for coming on. <laughs> thank you for having me. All right, let's give it up for them, ladies. <laughs> All right, everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want. Homegirl in the pink. The hostess, I like the hostess. So I'm going to go down the line here. Uh, Homegirl with the red, it's just she's older. I don't. She she didn't really do a lot wrong. It was just she she's just older. That's really mm-hmm. what it is. Mm-hmm. They didn't have people in her age range. Mm-hmm. Um, Homegirl in the white. I don't know what she was flip floppy through the whole thing. Do I think she'll find somebody? Yeah, for sure. Homegirl in the green, she wants something out of a a a, a movie. She don't want nothing realistic. She wants Hollywood. She wants a Morris Chestnut. Yeah, she wants something that only the one percent of women actually get, which is these. These he wakes up on his private yacht, goes to a business meeting at three thirty, golfing with the president at four o'clock. She wants something that is unrealistic. Homegirl with, uh, hey, Bob. she, she came off as really passive aggressive. She, I don't think she's gonna find anything because she don't know. She doesn't understand how to actually, um, be a woman. Like it's gonna sound crazy, but I'm, I'm it's gonna sound crazy. But when I say be a woman is if you're courting a man, you don't you if you want a man, you have to come with the feminine energy to attract the man. No man wants to marry another one of the, the bros. Like she's ma- she's just saying so she's like masculine. She- it's not even masculine. She if she comes off. She gives me the impression that she fight dudes. Like <laughs> she fight dudes. Like that's the energy she's giving me. Is is if her if the dude and her are already like, oh, I don't want chilies today. I want this. Like she like get on where you mad at type energy. She don't. She don't have no type of vulnerability. No type of like open like. There's nothing a man would be able to like really connect with her with because other than she's an entrepreneur. Is she? Yeah, she's a hairstylist. I, I would consider that as an entrepreneur or something. Yeah, no, no I, I didn't know what she was. I'm not yeah, she's a hairstylist. Her. But her whole everything, her demeanor was horrible. Every man she had an attitude with, mm. whether the dude said anything or not. Then when it was a dude that her it was her type, she immediately just like mm-hmm, uh huh all right. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. She kind of gives um those women or those girls that are like real snobby, like stuck like not stuck up because they think they're mightier than now, but stuck up like they don't like to see other people happy. Yes, type vibe like. Why and are you smiling like that for? Like, if he want to smile, he can Yeah, he she's, smile. Those, she's those chicks that always just got an attitude with everybody. No, she needs a man that's going to match that same energy. So she yeah. needs somebody. She needs a dude that's going to tell her to shut up or something. And it's just like... That's sad, but yeah. Well, there's people for that. There's a dude... There, she need like a hood... 
not no. I'm not gonna say she need like a, a like a, a. She need a thug. Like not even a thug. She just needs somebody that's gonna match that same energy. Yeah, he, she needs somebody that she needs somebody that bark is louder than her bark. No, they bite. Well, I don't want her to get hit. Well, yeah. I'm just... Now, pink. I don't know what after the. She started feeling. She started feeling herself after I think the the, the second or third the third guy. She started getting a little bit more vocal, which is fine. Okay, cool. But like, you're coming off real um. Pink, like mad, like for what? Pink when she started off, I was like, I was rooting for her because I'm like, oh, she's she's very sweet. She seems very, very quiet, sweet, hot. very like timid, but. Type. It was like it was like as the episode came on, that little facade was slowly getting ripped off. Yep. And you got to see she a spider underneath all that. She um Pink Pinky did not seem uh as confident um in herself as opposed to the other women. And yeah. Yeah. Her, her it showed. It, it it turned from humble to just nasty. Yeah. Because she started she started trying to you ain't even that tall. You not even that it was like the because, insecurity was crazy. Because all it takes is for one to light the match and it sparks all the others. Because old girl in the very beginning, she set the tone for the, for all the other women. She set the tone. And but she got up out there. But she got up out there. She set the tone for all the other women. And it just seemed like the more the more men that they had came out, it got worse and worse and worse. Everybody's demeanor changed. Everybody attitude changed. Um and I feel like it's a it was like some type of not girl code in a sense, but No, it was. Like it was, yeah, like it but it was like they didn't have to communicate it. It was more like, I'm a, it's all right, sis. I'm going to get your get back for you. Yeah. And roast, I'm going to roast him for what he said and what he did to old girl. Uh, yeah. She popped her balloon because he got in an argument with her. Yeah. like. And so and my thing is, he was the perfect match for her. It, and I'm going to say this. Y'all could keep doing this girl cold stuff because you see how a man interacts with another woman and you don't like it, even though you're not like that woman and you're not confrontational like that woman, but because you saw something that you probably didn't like or you didn't agree with and you trying to be ride or die for your, for your girl, your sisters, you and your sis, y'all can Netflix and chill. Y'all can walk down the aisle together. <laughs> y'all can go pick out some baby clothes together. Y'all can go build these empires together alone. Because like, nah, bro, like that. I ain't the only that. the only people who I think deserved to get somebody was Redhead uh, out of this group. Redhead and I would say White, but White's problem was she made her decisions based off of everybody else's decisions yes, through the whole episode. No, none of them, I don't think other aside from Lovely, which is the woman in the red hair, I don't think anybody else was suitable. Not even not even suitable. Uh more not even deserving in a sense, but because I'm not everybody everybody deserves love. Everybody deserves another That's a fact. person. That's a fact. Which is true. But um just because you weren't as bad as the other women doesn't mean you were deserving of any of those men. That's in, a fact. In my opinion. That's a fact. So I just feel like um, you you attract what you give out and what mm -hmm. you give out. Some people be jacking with it. Some people won't. Because the first dude, the first dude would have been the perfect person for the chick in white. They have the same aesthetic. First dude would have been perfect for her, but she she let other everybody else's opinion sway. I can say Lovely had had um she didn't let other people's opinions well no, that's a lie. She let other people's opinions sway her opinion as well. So I don't know. Yeah, all you can't think you're you can't you're not a free thinker. You can't think for yourself. So none of them even the women that got chose. Well, no, nah, because the chick with the the the, the gold hair. She was really trying. 
The chick, the, she was really trying. She only, she, the only reason why she didn't get the first dude that she wanted was the dude said he didn't, um, he don't like, uh, he don't like tall women. So that's why she didn't get the first dude. The second dude, she popped um, him because he was based based off of where he was from. Yeah, which was, but she learned from that, and she got that last dude, and she stopped judging him. So I think it, that lesson set in for her. She's willing to adapt, and she learned from it. All the women. They did not adapt. She could have... The green could have had a dude, but she doing too much. I don't think... Nah, she doing too much. No. Hey, but that's the video. It's three hours. Um, I'm going to put the full the full everything out as one thing, but then I'm also going to make some highlights or whatever. That way for people who just want to get straight to the point. Yeah. Um, Thank you to my lovely wife. It's just Alex. Um, She's starting her channel too, so support and uh, if y'all like this type of stuff, y'all want more of this stuff, then we'll keep doing it. So y'all be safe. Peace.